Welcome to the OSRs podcast. I am Mint Mad Cow. What's going on, boys? Rakes as always. Hello, it's me, Rakesco. So today we're going to be talking about the newly announced prayers that are going to be coming alongside Desert Treasure 2. And uh, we finally, after many months of persuasions, hard negotiations, it's been, <laughs> it's been a process getting Reese on here. And uh, yeah, welcome, Reese. How are you, man? Yeah, pretty good, mate. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Mate. I am Reese. I do PvP content mainly. I do dabble into uh, PVM a little bit, but not that much. So I'll try and do the PVP side of things in this one. Awesome. Yeah, well, he's the pro. It's going to be nice to have a PKR's perspective on this kind of thing. So now that we've introduced the guests, I guess uh, it's time to move into what this is all about. So what, what just, do we have here, boys? I just got to say, Solo just smiling in the corner. <laughs> he he looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, he doesn't need an introduction. We all know who this man is. No, we don't have solo. We have mission. We, ha we have mission solo. Yeah, mission solo. Like, he's solo, solo mission. Man. He's his loves. brother up top. Yeah, yeah he's the new supporter version of solo mission. Just for today's podcast, he came to you know report the news about this crazy new potential update that might ruin the game or something. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Breaking exactly. news, man. Yeah. And before we get into prayers, to put solo on the spot. How many likes should this vid get? What do you think? Oh, uh, so, right. We've got a goal here. And if we hit the goal, we're going to have a three-way giveaway. Bryce Cup's <laughs> going to give away one of his T-bows. He has Again? seven of them. Yeah, Rakesy has just made one bill from Fresh Start and he's willing to give it all away to the people. <laughs> and Mint Mad Cow yeah. has a hundred scepters to give away, which is equal to about 30 mil because they've all crashed to shit. So can we get 500 <laughs> likes on this episode, please? And that will gar guaranteed happen, 100%. Okay. To, to be fair, you know it. we're not going to get 500 <laughs> likes, so I'm happy to say that I'll give away the bill if we do it. So yeah, that's okay. Good. If we get a, if we get a thousand <laughs> likes Easy on this video, on I okay. will okay. give away a hundred scepters. Okay, but you know, it has you to know happen what? within the first five days because I'm a greedy man. So all right, I'm all right. down. You know, you know what? If we get five hundred likes, I'll give away five bonds for real. You know? Wow! Oh, right? That's that's just, man, that's 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 so so just in his opinion. Look, look, teach a man how to fish. Not you know, don't give him the fish, right? Because then they'll keep asking for it. You know, done. I bonds for real, you know. <laughs> Clip this. All right, I'm done. Some real wow, what a, what a generous, <laughs> generous proposal from Rice Cup. <laughs> Some deep wisdom there from Rice Cup. Beautiful. And yes, of course, we do have solo mission on here as well. So welcome, Joel. It's nice to uh, welcome. Nice Thank to see you. you, buddy. So yeah. And his brother up top. Yes. And the real man, the real mission, <laughs> just above. Right. What so, anyways, <laughs> so what we're gonna discuss, like I said, we're gonna talk about these new prayers uh nothing set in stone i believe that these have been selected for a beta though right so it's not that they're confirmed that they're coming into the game but these will be in beta and we'll be able to actually try these out this is like the revised version because this isn't like the first uh this is v1.1 this isn't point one. so uh let's get into it boys without any further ado so <clears throat> First thing, this is actually going to be in five different slots here. So we have protection prayers, offensive prayers, overhead offensive prayers, uh, new ancient vows, and utility prayers. These are what have been... Would you guys say it's fair to say these are finalized? Obviously for the no, beta. No, because uh, they have yeah, to be so. polled. And it's then more like a rough pass, draft. Yeah. If they pass, the ones that pass, I think, go to the beta. Okay. Or, or it's okay. not the second like draft in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there will be multiple more probably drafts okay yeah. well especially if they fail they're actually they're already making them. changes on them too rice said that they took away the um gathering or the skill yeah, well, already. i think they'll talk about it in the yeah but the just to know that they're already making changes like yeah these mm -hmm. are not finalized they're pretty big changes like right away Foul yeah already. yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay right i'm just gonna get into it so i'll start reading these out uh so for protection prayers we have melee magic and range and this one is called Dampen, which apparently reduces damage from appropriate styles by 90% and 36% in PvP scenarios. This value always rounds down, meaning damage between 1 and 9 would roll to 0, or that an NPC who would deal 49 will deal 4 damage if you're using a Dampen prayer against the relevant style. Interesting. Yeah, that's 
So that's one of the options. That's one of the four options. So there'll options. be two options, or is it four? Yeah, it's four, actually. Four, yeah. Four okay. options. And and just to say that I believe in PvP, the protection prayer takes 40% of uh, the, the damage, am I correct? Yeah. Because 4% isn't 50, too but... big in PvP. 10% yeah. is quite relevant. In so, like, you know, if you're going to get hit, like, a... 30 through prayer then that would be I don't know, like a 20 26 maybe 20 28 yeah. so it's really not a big deal when it comes to pvp just a bit of a difference yeah so this, this prayer here is obviously i'm assuming that you can't use this alongside the existing protection prayers that we have this is a separate thing right a uh, separate spell book i mean prayer book yeah okay so absorb uh reduces damage from the appropriate style by 100 percent, 40 percent in pvp scenarios so 10% more than the ones that we have right now. Uh, but drains prayer points by 10%. <clears throat> wow. Of the mitigated damage. The value always yeah, runs down, similar uh, to the example for Dampen. So I actually really like, like this for PvP. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. It's, it's a lot, a there's not a lot different. of prayer draining in PvP that's like too relevant. Especially in like prayer books, or never has been really. So I think even 10% is sizable. When you think about it, Dude, people have to bring more restores. Have you, to care more about the prayer. Can you imagine getting stuff. maced while you've got this prayer? On? Oh yeah, you are <laughs> so dead. So you are. You're like, <laughs> he's gone. Really, you're trying to help, but you forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Our, it's got PTSD. It's a, oh, <laughs> we can talk about that in a bit, man. Our initial proposal's <laughs> intention was to use dampen and absorb in tandem giving you options for different content depending on your inventory sub. Since then, we've seen other suggestions gain traction and would like to propose some alternatives. So the next mm. one is Withstand. Uh, reduces damage from the appropriate style by 100%, 40% in PvP scenarios, but reduces your defense by 33% while active. Wouldn't that be booty hole? Like, wouldn't you take more damage, use, even if you... I feel like that's just worse than the first one right like say if you protect and your defense is 30 33 percent worse would you wouldn't you take more damage and dampen or, i think I, so a... in, in pvp definitely i think in pvp yeah. that is the that's the worst one you want to be using but in pvm yeah, i think yeah, with sun yeah. is probably the best one to use gotcha so actually, maybe the flex, maybe the flex but we'll get on to that one i mean yeah. so there's, like there's only going to be two out of these four right these are like alternatives so i do like the top ones more the pvp yeah. Especially so, the prayer drain, it's like so unique and kind of cool. What about I'm withstand? scared to use that one? What about yeah, withstand exactly, yeah. on a one defense account? Like it's not gonna matter. Yeah, no, yeah, that, that type of stuff. Yeah, like that. That's could cool. you not get less defense though than one defense? Would you? Would, would like? I know you can go negative defense, right? Would I, dude? But I wish it, would it, tell well, us, right? Would, would it be? Know? I'm not. I'm not actually 100 percent sure, but would it be 33 percent of one percent, which is of one? Sorry, of one defense, which is nothing. You know Massive mean? 07 reefs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it so would So basically, basically for one defense, pures would be good, but for like mains, it'd be quite detrimental. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you you it's massive. Like when yeah. you when you think about it, like what the hell? Then, also, you, you, you yeah. think it's massive, but then you put the other prayers on. That's with, that's, I mean. that's going to give the power, and it becomes less. You know what I mean? Because you're you're basically doing more damage than you're taking. If they're eating, they're not going to do damage, are they? They would be brewed mm. down. So, stuff. real quick, like for uh, Rice Cup solo mission, PVMers in here, I'm trying to think, like in PVM, where you get hit through prayer. And the, the first thing that comes to mind is like the regular nightmare and also TOA, like with the invocations that you put on. But is there any other bosses where this would be useful? Which, Which one, one? <laughs> specifically? <laughs> yeah. uh, being able to reduce the damage by 100%, basically. Like, because obviously that would be kind of useful in TOA, right? If you've got the invocation where you take damage through prayer. But I'm assuming that this would counter that? Um, so... Maybe? I'm pretty sure the whole point of these prayers isn't necessarily that these prayers are supposed to be better than the ones that we have. It's more so because they're, the other prayers that this prayer book will have are, like, stronger than the... Yeah, it's a trade-off, yeah. Yeah, so that's... So these... These protection prayers are actually supposed to be worse versions of the new ones. I mean, of our current ones, because we're going to have stronger offensive prayers that we haven't talked about in, okay. these, in this prayer book. Okay, so so when it says reduces damage from appropriate style for the assault one by 100%, it, it's still the same as the original 
a hundred percent so that that means if you're fighting something that would otherwise hit through your prayer it'll still hit through prayer the same way I got you. it's just that we have we yeah. have more risk now using yeah. these but in return we get more offensive prayers so basically all these would would be worse than what we have so, now yeah. you know but i would love the trade-off in the more dps on the other prayers that we haven't talked about yet okay I'll so. You. so if you play if, if you play perfectly in pvm right you get all the prayers right it, this prayer book would be a lot better right oh yeah 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 but if you, yeah, if you he, start making mistakes then it's it's gonna be huge for speedrunners not just yeah exactly yeah, it's yeah. Pretty cool. huge uh, yeah, so, so um, the next one's the best. The next okay. one's the best. The next one we have is Wait, what about mission though? Does Mr. Mission have anything to say? We'll no, go? no, no, no. Finish finish off reading all four and then mm. we can decide which ones yeah. we want each or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Deflex melee reduces damage from the appropriate style by 90%, 36% in PvP, deals 10% of the pre-mitigated damage back to the attacker. For example, if you're using deflect melee and an NPC hits you with melee. That would deal 49 damage. You'll receive four damage and deal four damage to the NPC. Huh. That's my favorite, but it's also probably the le least likely to pass. Sadly, I just feel like it's probably the least likely to pass. Honestly, I just I want it to pass. Um, it makes and the just, skill gap higher in PvP. Exactly, and if you're getting demolished, right? Even yeah. if you have this prayer book, which seems to be very in PvP, very um. Uh, glass cannony, right? You're still yeah. able to get back in that fight, even if you're running out of food for KO potential. So it gives you something to work with there, uh, but it's probably not going to pass. I hope it does. I just don't see it passing. I, I think it's definitely worth saying because this is like my first time looking at this. All of these, I'm like struggling to imagine this in an actual in game scenario, but I feel like we're not really going to know exactly how it would work, slash, I mean, how it would actually work in practice until we actually get to use it in the beta because like this sounds wild and i'm I'm like trying to think yeah, of I scenarios think... where it would be like really cool to use and useful but at the same time it's like i don't yeah. think i'm going to be able to fully get it until we actually do the beta i think a lot of things have been like that in the past like i remember having a conversation like years ago with joel about volatile and i thought it'd be the most broken get broken weapon in the game and it came and it was actually quite balanced so sometimes you just have to see like the in-game thing of it. We were in America in IHOP, and this man was crying his eyes out that <laughs> PvP was going to be ruined because the bot <laughs> exactly yes. Yeah. So... And then oh, it then it fucking got released. And it was actually pretty decent. Like it was really. But it was, it was and it was pretty good. I would yeah. say with all these prayers, right? So the idea is all the other ones are very strong. These ones have to be weaker. And in terms of PvM, I'd say it's. You get that variation when you can get hit ten percent through your prayer. So, for example, you're never going to use the, you're never going to use dampen or deflect in the inferno because when you get to triple jads, those things can hit hundred. So you're going to be get, getting hit like ten, 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 ten. So that this prayer book is not feasible there. It's probably not feasible somewhere like Criara where it's kind of just it can slap you seventy, so you're just getting hit sevens all the time. Um, yeah, in God Wars, if you use like withstand, for example, you're just getting battered by the minions, right? Unless you're just doing yeah, fucking Jesus. Yeah, exa exactly. But then that's the thing. Like people flick them, so it is more yeah, geared towards a, a, a higher skill cap. But even even in everyday instances, like say if you're doing barrage slayer, um, a dust devil isn't going to start chipping you down all of a sudden because it is rounded down. So a dust devil hits an eight, you just get hit zeros anyway. So it's not really a downside for like everyday kind of uses, if you know what I mean. True. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm not a PBMer at all, but I could definitely see the absorb. Where where it drains your prayer being used in the what's what's the dungeon in Karen that you get prayer points for bones? It, you'd just be Catacombs. chilling there, huh? Wouldn't you? In a way, I don't know. Catacombs, I'm not a yeah. PVMer. Yeah, catacombs. I can <clears> see <throat> some of these being used there. Yeah, I, yeah. Um, I think I think Soul Mission, uh, you know, put out a good good point in terms of the whole idea of the skill cap thing because, well, I guess by you know by the time you you unlock this prayer book, right? It's geared towards someone that's done like a grandmaster quest, so, so maybe in that sense, it's like okay, I guess it makes sense that this trade off would make sense because you're you know you're already you're already a grandmaster guy you know that did this quest right, so you should be a pretty good decent player. So hopefully you you can handle the fact that you know the the new protection prayers are not like the old ones where it's so simple you just put it on and ninety nine percent of the time 
that attack will do no damage to you. Whereas most of these pairs, you know, it's like anywhere you go, you could take some extra damage. So you might have to worry a bit more about how to deal with that. But I mean, the trade off is pretty crazy because uh, we don't, we haven't talked about the new pairs, right? Those new pairs, yeah, the offensive exactly. ones are very strong. You're getting like multiple max hits on like every style that you have. So it's yeah. like, or I think most players that will have completed this quest, they, they should be able to easily balance it. I guess, regardless of which of these protection prayers that ends up making it to the game, um, I feel like the, the damage trade-off will probably make it okay. So I think that's the idea, right? They're really trying to make sure these new protection prayers have that trade-off so you can gain that new DPS from the, from the boosted prayers. Yeah. So, ultimately... In terms of... Mm. Oh, sorry. You finished? Yeah. No, yeah, I think I'm, I was okay. wrapped up, yeah. I was going to say, in terms of... P so we talked about a bit about PVM. In terms of PvP... Mm. I I mean I think the deflect is obviously the strongest ones to use there by far, and I think yeah. that that honestly means that if you're at least somewhat decent already at tribrating, for example, you're always going to use this prayer book with the flex because it's like everyone knows a ring of suffering is already really good, right? Yeah, it's and already this is, it's a, like an added this is a it's, it's a yeah. jacked up ring of suffering, like. Actually, no, it's no, it's it's like it's no, like no, similar. it's around the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. It is I'm similar. Sure I'm, I'm isn't it the sure. same number? I don't know. Yeah, it, it it it. I think it is. Yeah, yeah it's, it's exactly the same. I'm just yeah. like. So you just have well, like a double stuff in the whole time, pretty much. What's yeah. Like, what's so the difference yeah. between dampen and deflect? If deflect only not like, a lot, this, not a lot, not it's that, the same, right? But deflects better. Yeah, right? a deflect just has the extra damage from the recoiling. So they're essentially the same thing. And I, I, I think, yeah, I think I think we are going to end up with deflect because everyone loves extra DPS. Yeah. And um, I think deflects are actually quite strong, really. And, and to, to be honest, I feel like the deflect option is not really a trade-off. I know, I was about to say that. Yeah, true, yeah. I was like, why would you not go to deflect, right? It's so yeah. good. Like, so, I mean, no offense to Jagex, I felt like the first three were like, you know, they were really tight, you know, in like the whole cost effectiveness, right, the trade-offs, but I feel like this last one is like, it's just like free, it's just like actually an upgrade to the current one, really. What I would, what I would do for the spec, like, too, to, to make it's, it even, is maybe just knock it down to 80%. True, right. yeah, mm -hmm. that that would be true. In case it doesn't get past, like, all right, eighty percent, but people still oh. want to use this in the wild, not just because it's powerful, because it's also new. Like, it's a new way to fight. Before, I like, too, yeah. the, before the Void Walker came in the game, everyone was just AGS prodding, right? Mm, yeah. And the Void Walker mm. came, and all of a sudden, it's like, do I pray melee? Do I pray mage? Now, if you add this in there with the new solo bosses, you can go aggressive, glass cannon, berserker build just demolishing someone who's trying to get straight up DPS on you the whole time. You're not tagging back, just chunk, 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 chunk. <laughs> Ring of Suffering, then boom, you go in for the spec. I'm loving the amount of branches that are coming into PvP right now. That's how I see it. It was like one or two branches. Now it's just like you can kind of build your character, build yeah. your class. Like That's what I like, see. I, I mean, I'm not saying like, you know, the, the that prayer is like, um, bad in, in a way. It's just like in terms of Jagex's intent on making protection prayers w weaker in this prayer book to balance the new stronger prayers. I feel like, you know, I, I mean, the, the last one just doesn't make sense. It, there's no balance. Yeah, it's, it's a downside, but the downside doesn't matter because the same damage you're taking, they're taking as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Speaking, and, if you get the and, prayer, like, right. and like 90% of the time, you will take a, you will gain massive advantage with this prayer. Yeah, it, it doesn't make yeah. sense because it even evens out. Yeah, exactly. Like so it's not, really a, it's not really it's not really a trade-off. So yeah. the first three has trade-offs, but this one doesn't really have like a real, you know, crazy trade-off. To do be you, honest. Reese, do you think the deflect if it passes and gets into the game? Obviously, for anybody listening that doesn't know, there's like a really clever hybrid tactic, and I really like this, where you can basically just prioritize your food, go home with two extra brews. I, I think a lot of people that do it don't even take super combats and range bots. They or just take oh, yeah, yeah. full food. And they have, um, what's the ring called? The Ring of Suffering. So it's a, a recoil ring. So basically, yeah. they're slowly chipping away at their opponent, and they basically just win because they have leftover food. So obviously, this yeah. will be used for that. But do you think that there's a scenario where this will also be stacked together for anti-Russian and maybe combined with, like, Venge slash Karassi? Oh mm, something like... Depends what, you, what weapon they're attacking with. Something like Withstand. Like thirty three percent reduced defense, especially for a maid, means that they're going to hit more. 
And if you want them to hit more, for example, you're going to venge, then that will be better yeah. than just the extra, like, 4%, mm. for example. And I mean, like, but I, think, in, like, I think main PKs will we'll just use deflect the whole time. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, users. at the end of the day, it's like, say, for example, you're anti-Russian and some dude hits you a 70. It's like, if you can stack that with a venge and this, I mean, it's only 7 damage, but you know what it's like when it comes down to it in PKs. Yeah, you right? can have, like, a double recall as well with this effect. Yeah. Also, it depends if like if they're specking you with like a Void Waker, that's always going to hit. So defense of withstand doesn't matter. That type yeah. of stuff. Interesting. So you choose, your, covered, choose your battles. We haven't covered any of the attack damages, right? Because people, if you've never heard of the prayers, you're like, why would you use this prayer book, right? Uh, Ray, can you just <laughs> scroll down just a little bit to offensive prayer? You'll want to use it. Let's um, just say that. This, oh, this is why. <laughs> what, what and I was all? wondering. Yeah. I was reading early, uh, way before, and they changed the blog a couple times. There was like a ring of recoil curve. Did they take that away? Yeah, I'm no, not, that, I didn't. That's, la that's later, oh, I think. There is a there's so, there's something with that idea later. Oh, I just reading the, it, the and they changed it. I yeah. couldn't find it because I'm thinking if the ring of recoil paired with deflect, that could be so annoying rag wise against PKers. So we do got to be careful, like how. How much do we want in the game, and then how powerful are people in Black DI and fucking Mage is going to be with these yeah. prayers? Which is which yeah. is why it's really important, real quick. Uh, anybody who's listening to this and like you may be a bit overwhelmed, and I'm sure that we can all say that it's all a bit overwhelming. Um, this this poll that's happening right now is for it to come into the beta, so it's like you should vote on this stuff, and it's like just because you vote yes to this now doesn't mean that it's going to be the final thing or it doesn't mean that it's even going to come into the game at all but it does mean that if it does pass that we can actually try these out if any of this sounds interesting at all i think it's worth saying that because this is like a lot of information right and you don't want to make a decision should i that could try to give a tldr for this section go for it go for it all right so for those of you that that want it simple so these are the four ideas for the protection prayers for the new prayer book and they're supposed to be slightly weaker than the old ones so that the new prayers that, that you have, we'll talk about soon that gives you more, even more damage than the old prayer book will, will be bounced. But I think we have come to an agreement that the deflect version of this protect prayer is not really a weaker version. It's actually maybe even a stronger version. So I think most of us are going for that because it's just, you know, way more OP. And that's kind of where we're at right now with this section, so... All right, we have offensive prayers open. Mint Mad Cow, would you like to take the floor, my friend? Well, yeah, just for those who have not gone over the prayer book yet, this is why you would take that kind of uh, opportunity cost, right? You take that, oh, I'm going to take a little more damage for a lot more attack. But the good part about these prayers is if you go to Piety, the highest prayer on Piety, the highest defense is actually defense. Twenty Is it 25 or 30% boosted defense on Piety? If you look over and you see decimate, right? 20% 20, 20 attack, 30% strength, which is uh, on Piety, I think it's 23% strength yeah, bonus on scroll decimate. Down. You need to scroll right? it down, Rixie. Mm -hmm. just, just an example, no defense. No defense on that. So you're going to be using this glass cannon build, but you're going to be taking so much more damage back. But yeah, I can go through them all real quick. We got Ancient Precision plus 20 attack, uh, Ancient Strength plus 20 strength, Ancient Sight, 20 range attack, and 20 range strength, Ancient Will, 20 magic attack. We got Trinitus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's 50% of everything. Not sure what that'd be capable for. Maybe Rice knows. And I think over here, you have what we need prayer scrolls for, because when Desert Treasure 2 comes out, there's going to be four solo bosses. So you got 20% attack, 30% strength, decimate. I'm buying that day one. I'm <laughs> heading to the wild. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Hopefully this prayer book is going to be open to one defense accounts too. Like we don't even know if Desert Treasure 2 is going to be able. I believe so. Maybe, right? Because could you I think, imagine? Um, I think they've basically kind of like decided, you know, that they wouldn't lock quests behind the fence anymore. Something do, like do that. You know, do you know what it wouldn't make sense do. to add the top prize as well if you don't have one defense account having it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's True. what they're going to be used for, like ancient position, position or whatever it's called. You know, yeah. And the rest of them are going to be mains, the bottom ones. I, I hope mm. what they do is, like you just said, they've said they're not going to lock quests behind defense requirements. But I hope that they make it, like, incredible, like a challenge to get this if you're on, like, a low defense. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Imagine mm. if they, like, so for example, like, like the get, quest? 
like the, the, the quest, the like, yeah, like, like the boss fights will be like not maybe not as difficult as getting like a one defense inferno, but definitely a challenge. You know, like some real difficult shit. <laughs> that Wouldn't that be, yeah, but... dude, that'd be so cool? Imagine a quest that's like tests you to that point of like, oh my god, this is almost as hard as getting an infernal cape. That'd be awesome. They're never gonna do that for a quest, though. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 not, they're not gonna lock, they're like, not gonna lock, like, lock a whole family behind it. Why not? not they make not... quests good. <laughs> they finally. I get, I get where he's going with it. You, you have to make it decently hard. Way you die in every quest, is gonna have it. You know what I mean? Your account gets deleted, bro. Bad idea. <laughs> yeah. They love that idea. Okay. <laughs> One day I'll come. Or I'm like, or me. like every time you die, you get like a permanent increase in your defense. That'd cause so many bugs. Yeah, you get 200 <laughs> XP, you do. Uh, okay, now we're just trolling. Uh, <laughs> I get you. That would be funny. But I, I think, I think you have to be, cool. be... You should be a decent PVMer to be able to get this on a one defense. It's probably yeah, yeah, yeah. What the goal here, right? Yeah. But it kind of goes back into what I was saying. Like, now we have more builds. Maybe pure Zerkers, med builds are going to have more options for prayer and not just a, the little whatever the 33 strength is. And they're going to be prayer scrolls, of course, Annihilate and Vaporize. Uh, you got 20% range That's attack, too. Yeah. 30% range strength, 30% range strength, bro. That's I think Trinity's, did they already confirm which ones are uh, a drop? Like, I feel like Trinitus and, It's the last and three. Below, right? I don't know. I don't know Trinitus. I know it's the last I don't think they've decided, to be honest. Oh, okay. Because I feel like I feel like well, I think they should be drops. Yeah, so, I think yeah. Trinitus and down should probably be drops. I, I can mm. I can see the appeal well, of Trinitus. It's so cool. I think like anything uh, over twenty. I, mean, I think it, I think it makes it easy for people, right? Is a drop for like PVM or PV PV. Like if oh, you've got a, if you're not as good as other people using that prayer, is very simple, yeah. right? Well, Trin yeah, Trinitus. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I quite all three. I kind yeah, of, I like I kind it. of like that. Yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. like it's like where you'd go if you weren't. Like you want to make sure you're doing some extra damage, but maybe you're not good it's enough like, to be able to flick through. You know, these like three. think about it. You're on your phone or something. You don't want to switch to your uh, <laughs> yeah, prayer book, you or, or or you're the dude that don't like using F keys. You know, you're like okay, I'll just <laughs> yeah. do something. You know, so like, well, if yeah. you're like if you're like learning in PvP, it's something yeah, like, learning. If you right, if yeah, you exactly. attack with the wrong style, with the wrong prayer on, it's kind of detrimental. But if you have this on, then yeah, it's not you're as chilling. big. J just yeah. to give the yeah. viewers like a a little bit of a basis. So this right here, Decimate, 30% strength. The current best that we have is Pity, which is 20, uh, 23, 23%. Yeah. And Rigor is also 23. 23. So, so we're talking yeah. about a 7% increase uh, in your range and also in your melee. And not to mention on the mage one, plus 4% magic damage. Like, damn. That's, that's like one damn. max. That's, that's pretty one max Damn, dude. I actually yeah. didn't even see that. We get magic damage. Damage. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, that do. is why you gotta think about here. with vaporize uh, augury is is probably one of the strongest prayers to ever get in this game for pvp it's got yeah, mage yeah. defense and is it mage strength defense commerce what basically it's two of them at the same time it's yeah. and mage bonus, i believe right? yeah exactly yeah so so here's here's like a little uh side saddle question for your solo mission and reese do you think that it would be a bad thing if these prayers were to come out and just completely make the old prayer book like redundant. Is that something you think would be bad? I'll go first. I I think I would like my first opinion is that I would like there to be some places where the old prayer book was better, say because you get hit through those protection prayers. So you have to yeah. make a choice about things. Um I mean, I mean, it might be the case that because this prayer book has barely any defense on it, that the old prayer book is better for a lot of players anyway that don't play with like a sweaty flicking between their overheads, overheads kind of style. Because if they've got absolutely no defense, maybe they do find that them, themselves getting shredded by things and they're like, oh, well, you know what? What is yeah, 7% Twenty-five percent damage? defense is a lot, right? Yeah, a lot of yeah, know. exactly. So I think it would be a shame if we just entirely replaced the old prayer book, but I don't think it's the end of the world necessarily. If I could choose, if I could choose, I would in the overhead section, I would have absorb and the the other one, which isn't deflect, but you still have ninety percent prayer, like the more conservative ones, just so we do have that distinction. But I know I know a lot of people that like this for me. This comes from a quest, and it's such a massive upgrade to come from a quest. It changes every single yeah, encounter. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're getting so much power at once, and 
if we continue with that sort of acceleration, like fucking hell, what, what in 2020? Are we going to be in like five years? You're going to be in like five years. 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 You're going to you know, I mean, pretty sure I, they're feeling that. I know you guys don't don't know, but I'm like, I know, like I'm when I was sure watching that. the Winter I'm, Summit, I was mm. like, yeah, we're gonna get pro scroll drops Definitely. from the solo bosses for sure. And Definitely. thirty, you can't just have thirty percent strength come with that shit. You can't. You gotta buy that. There's no way that that's just gonna happen. Yeah, I hope, it, I hope it's it gonna be tradable. tradable. It's gonna be tradable yeah. too, bro. Do mm-hmm. you know what they, what they should do though is those those scrolls from like uh, the first raid. Those are gonna be super devalued. They should make you have to use one to burn <laughs> or some shit. Like you, yeah, you print it on there because it's good. No one's gonna want that shit after this. No one's gonna want that shit. Yeah, it's already really cheap anyway. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a good point. Uh, that, that's a good point. Yeah, Econ- econ- economically speaking. Yeah, the other prayer books. Uh, scrolls will definitely take a hit. So they're, they're, they're already, they're already like it's already like a mill yeah. for augury, isn't it? Like you, you can't kill what's already yeah. dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's already Dex, dead. Respect- I mean, you can, you can revive it like a tiny, tiny yeah. bit, I guess. Like, you might as well burn him, fuck it. Either. No, no, I'm just saying, Dex, Dex is, is humble. It's like 30, 40 mil right now. You know, <laughs> but, is it? Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm out of touch. That. Yeah, yeah say, I thought it, I thought it was like 50, 20 mil or some shit. Yeah, no, it's, oh, it's yeah, teams yeah. teams were masked it. Before teams were masked it, Dex was eleven mil. Yeah, oh, it went back and now, now it's now it's thirty seven mil. Um, so you know why? I, I, it's because I'm pretty I'm sure it's because like obviously less people are doing raids one and also range like blowpipe is like on roids now, you know? So people need that Just wait. maybe Dex more. Yeah. <laughs> Still annihilate, bro. Just how, away, how do you dude. think they should do what that? What about though? this? What would be like yeah. a good idea of doing it if they were to try and like actually, you know, burn like you said the dexes and the arcanes? Like, what if this wasn't just a prayer scroll that dropped and it was like, oh, you've got something that you then have to like, I don't know, like use on a dexterous prayer scroll or something like yeah. that? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, it's like you need to combine uh, the two. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Or, or they've done that something. idea before. Like they've the done Kraken. it many times. Yeah, for everything. Can whip to whip. I mean, it's it's a natural thing. It's a little band aid. You know, it's a little band aid for future content. I mean, Pretty I wouldn't much. mind. It just it wouldn't make much sense. Like his uh, like really, like man. from a story point of view, you know. But um, you don't know the lore yet. Oh, you know, that's a big ass dragon. We saw <laughs> another big ass dragon in the fucking yeah. commercial. Maybe they know each other, right? It's yeah. Just, I mean, it's I mean that'd be one way. That would be one way to make those old, uh, old items, you know, keep the value. I guess, right? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't think they necessarily would be devalued, though. It depends on the prayer levels for these new things. So, yeah. the people who are buying dexterous prayer scrolls at this point, they're just coming out of the, their mid-game arc, aren't they? Really, and that's why because yeah. it's a it's a one-time yeah. unlock. So they're they're buying that. But say of these prayers, like mm. it's ninety-six prayer, ninety-three prayer, and ninety prayer, like. These newbie people, they probably also say if they cost like 150 mil each. I, I mean, mm, I'm just throwing yeah. out random numbers here. There still, there still would be that bridge along a player's journey to get the rigor, the augury, and then that's what I mean. If you kept the old prayer book alive with having taking the damage free prayer, people still buy it to do inferno with because realistically, so so, yeah. so like you're still gonna need the old prayers like in certain circumstances, and because you need them in certain circumstances, surely they will maintain their value a little yeah. bit yeah yeah I don't, I don't think it will like crash like long term it will go down a bit long term i guess by the way speaking of item prices don't look what do you think the price of dragon bones is right now don't look dude it's 4K. like 4K. 4K. Yeah, 4K. so you guys understand what's happening yeah. i'll put a chart right yeah, here it just did 3.5k um yeah. I remember when the winter summit was happening, dragon bones were about 2.2 to 2.4. Yeah, it was. It's I bought my 99 too. prayer at 2.8. Oh, yeah. Months yeah. later, we're now seeing 3.5. We're going to be seeing. I was Ooh. walking down a green dragon patch to Spindle, and the fucking names I saw oh, were just shit. keyboard mashes. These <laughs> dragon bots are just getting shit out right now. They don't yeah, even care yeah. about the names. Yeah, just, good money. No, good money, bro. Yeah. Kill them, Rexy. Do V2. You Dude, know, I think V2 I'm going to have to, man. I'm poor. I need money. But wait, hold up. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think Dragon Bones will go to? What's this what dip? Wait, wait, wait. Was this, was this dip from the uh, rework of the PvP bosses? Is that what this dip is? I feel like it's around that no, time. No, no, that's um, that's kind of like a merching thing. So the the hype of Winter Summit made the bones peak over three k, and then there was a nice downfall where everyone sold yeah. the liquidity, and then we have that nice. Again, there'll be another dump. More. There'll be another dump right before high. the update actually drops. So is it? But yeah, is this also because there's less 
bots as well killing green dragons there's a lot of reasons they're, they're getting banned yeah. but there's so many more coming they're coming up. back yeah but so i haven't even like moved to like revs and different things like that that are probably better yeah you know, um i think it's probably just gonna peak around like three to point five again you know and crash again uh, Mr. Solo the Mission, there's oh. no phones on this podcast, my friend. Eyes up here. Oh, I, was, I, was, <laughs> I was using a calculator because <laughs> yeah. I was. So we're talking about these. We're talking about these sort of mid-game players. Yeah. Say if say if they had to get 96 prayer all of a sudden, that's yeah, already yeah. at, at mm-hmm. those prices. That's already yeah. going to cost them like 70, 80 mil, and yeah, then they're going to have to buy the prayer scroll on top of that when mm-hmm. they could just go and buy their rigor for say 30 mil. So I think the rigor will still have its place in a player's journey. Like. Yeah, I mean, it's like, easier I, for like, them, right? Yeah, so I, I don't know how many of you guys were playing back when Turmoil came out, but it was a part of everybody's journey that you you had... I mean, for me personally, I'd never had 300 mil before I saved up to buy the bones to get Turmoil. Yeah. And um, so, like, that was a factor. It's not like this prayer book dropped and then I could just get it. I think a lot of people still use the normal prayers because they just couldn't afford it. Like, not every, like we're all privileged that we have bills, right? But yeah. not, not, like the average person bank, bank on this game is probably about 100 mil. So like these decisions to drop money on this stuff is like... Yeah, that's yeah. a good question, actually. Yeah, uh, if you're watching the podcast it. and you don't mind us uh, knowing, what is your bank right now? <laughs> and your that's, a, that's a really good and thing to ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to know. I asked my, ask my streaming community because I'm like, you guys are a bunch of fucking nerds, bro. What is your bank? And I'm just seeing four bill, three bill. I'm like, dude, you sweaty asses. And then I had some poor peasants like 14 mil. I'm like, you'll get there, brother. Right? Don't feel bad. They're, they're all saying like two mil so you get some money from them. That's, that's what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, bro. I'll, I'll pour drop you. shit on a table and I know the people spamming and getting arthritis on that table are billionaires. I know it. I know mm-hmm. it, bro. So, <laughs> what, by the way, what we're talking about, to throw back to the old days when Turmoil and Soul Split were a thing, pre-OC, something that I can instantly see from what they've pulled so far is I like that they're thinking differently from back then. Because, I mean, the overhead prayers that you had back on, I can't remember what the prayer book was called, but where I had, like, you had Soul Split, Turmoil, etc. Curses. 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 Mm. Overhead prayers worked exactly the same. Like, there was no, you know, oh, it's going to take 90% reduction damage. It was just 100%. So it was, it was just a clear, defined, better version of the regular prayer book so i like what the, the are you sure are you sure well, about no, that i thought i thought they would have the i thought they would deflect yeah i thought they, yeah, would deflect. they also deflect so, the damage too yeah. yeah so they had was there still uh defense on the prayers though like Wait, for example their remember. version of party yeah it was fucking, it was it was complicated it's you turn yeah. on these prayers and then you're sapping their stats and so you're gradually getting yeah. more and more powerful so no, I think no, what no, we have no. at the moment it, it wasn't it wasn't that's... like that. There were there were additional prayers that you had underneath that were like leech prayers. But the overhead prayers Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So they haven't mentioned that, but I'm just talking about the overheads. The overheads worked exactly the same. As far as yeah. my memory remembers, exactly the no, same. We, we, I'll tell you. Me, me, me and Reed disagree. You, you reflect the damage. You. Yeah, I'll tell they you what it does. Yeah, yeah, so they're they yeah, let's look it up the, before we the flex Dude, protection prayers, right? Which... We need to look this up. Well, yeah, yeah. So the the flag protection, there was also the sapping one you're talking about, but the the flag protection prayers did ex- did what the original prayers did, and on top of that, it also reflected damage back to the uh, to the enemy. Oh, yeah. Look at this shit. You can tell the screen yeah. went blank. This yes. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and they, also had, they also had like the dude. The I leech. used bro. I PK'd with those prayers for years. Like I'm talking like yeah. however however many years it was until it turned into RuneScape. 3. Oh, because like because like I remember there was also the leech prayers where over time it would sap away uh like the stats of the opponent. Like uh because because when curses first came out, right? There was only turmoil for melee. They didn't have like. A range version yet they didn't have the magic version yet so like let's say you were ranging with that curse i guess maybe the 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 leech prayers made sense because like you didn't really have a you know like a like a rigor on that prayer book for a long time i guess right because like i remember when that, i was that, ranging with it initially on. that was that was the trade-off initially wasn't exactly it? yeah but then obviously nowadays they have that uh in in the in the original in artistry as well they have like the the range version the magic version but before though it was just turmoil which affected melee. There was no good range boost. There was no good magic boost on curses. So the sap stuff. I mean, the leech prayers were good for that because what else were you gonna have on? You so know, I right. can't. I can't find the pre OC ones. These aren't the pre OC ones. This is the Runescape <laughs> ones because 
Yeah. Because these aren't the, no, uh, like, these aren't the like I use curses a lot pre LC, so I, I remember the flag purge doing exactly a hundred percent uh based no, you know uh, and under normal circumstances with hundred percent uh you know negation and deflect ability and then the sap per, uh, the leech prayers would drain your stats but it was not a deflect uh, it was not a protection prayer though yeah, this, it was this was this was later on i wish this website so, yeah. had the dates when these were added but i can't yeah no overall like, what do you reckon was the the same. Like... Uh, a lot of these are actually the same as what we had okay in they are yeah yeah, most Dude, of these are not, practically the it's, same. It's not though because look, Rake Rake sees Beamer Brain. You got the mention, bro. Bro, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a little different, but the flex missile provides fifty. Oh, you know what it is? Fifty percent damage reduction. It's a different it it, timeline, it bro. What's that shit called? Can't remember. Like, universes. I'm just kidding. Bro, it yeah, says yeah, it yeah. literally says here fifty percent. This isn't the right thing. Yeah, but we're we're reading off RuneScape three here, bro. No, no, it's been I'm like 10 that years. Yeah, I know. This is hold off. Like uh, I'm not so the, the number of the prayers, they were like the same <laughs> amount. <laughs> Rakesy's old man PK Rigo is coming out yeah, right now. Yeah, you <laughs> play Scrabble or No, I think it's because Rakesy uh, was ranging and then he used one of those leech prayers because you would use it because, you know, you didn't have any other curse, curses to make your range better. You know, that was all you had. So. You're, you're yeah. making bigger would you say the power I, I literally creep just is turmoil though. and soul split. Oh, yeah, this one, I feel like this one, the power creep is higher because you have magic and range old, boost. Yeah. Right, and a, tri but then, and a but then hybrid. Didn't you have soul split back then? And I want to play yeah, devil's yeah, advocate, yeah. bro. I don't yeah. think the I don't think the damage creep is higher than than EOC back in the day, bro. I don't. Well, well, well. No, I'm talking. Well, no, I, I think we're think just so. talking about prayer for prayer. I think yeah, for yeah, prayer, yeah. Yeah, 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 for prayer. That's what I'm saying. Right, like, just devil's advocate. advocate. I think, and I, you know, man, back in the day, I was fucking killing zombies and Varrock. I I wasn't with you guys, like, no, but when I was watching videos. That shit was insane. You could you could leech, you could steal. Everything yeah. like chaotic weapons became a whole different monster. With this, at least you could you could fight back. They're not gonna have the fence, yeah. they're not gonna leech so, from you. So I feel like so, power creep back to insane. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about, man, because you know, I mean back in the day, the uh, uh curses didn't have the range and the you know the magic boost, but they did have like overloads and like they did have summoning and you know, yeah. like it's really hard to quantitate. It's hard to long, tell, yeah. That's yeah, true. It's People were tell. just hacking back then. Yeah, they, they just had all kinds of shit attacking. You know, but yeah. for for now, it's just you and your clicks and whatever. The reason you I say that is, did yeah. people use the old prayer book back then? While that new one was out, you know what I mean, or did everyone just change over to that? Uh, in, only in, people. In, in I think they did if they couldn't afford it. If they just like me, it, they did. Yeah, like yeah, we were all shitty at the game, yeah. bro. We were just standing at Edgeville, yeah, it's, it's, looking at fights. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't play much back then. I was like, yeah. Dude, to be yeah. honest, I never really switched back to normal prayers. Honestly, yeah. when I yeah. when I got it, curses, yeah, I never did. I think it was Jordan definitely was fighting a, about money though. So what what I will say is, I'm man enough to admit you might be right. I mean, back in those days. <laughs> back in those days. <laughs> we were on the same page. Rubber. I, dude, listen, I used to just fucking soul split and, and turmoil. I, like, to, to be honest with you. You never even turned on a, a deflect. <laughs> very rarely. Like, very rarely, to be completely honest with you. Because I was mm. usually just soul splitting. I'll be honest. Yeah. But um, my point still stands is that it definitely feels like they're trying to think of a way old school is. To kind of like balance it a little better yeah. from what it was previously, because if you are right in saying there was a deflex, and you're right, you're triggering some sort of like dimension in my brain here. But like, if that's true, <laughs> then yeah, I mean that just means that it's even more OP than what I originally thought. So yeah, yeah, but there's no soul split though. So oh, we haven't and, we yeah. haven't got to that. Have, have they not? It, they're not adding yeah, the no, the big boy. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. No, there's no soul split. No. So oh. Well, there's you a very budget version. Like, yeah, yeah, like there's, yeah, there's, version yeah, there's, I, yeah. Dude, I, 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 I don't. Say, dude. I really That's don't. Crazy. The, I think the Hell only not. thing, the only thing I will say about Soul Split, but I feel like Real they, could, Split was they like... could do the same with these. Is it was nice that there were like alternative account builds that you could make for PKing because you could get turmoil on an account with like I think back in the day you could do it with like thirty defense or something like that. So you'd have these fucking like proselyte accounts, which would oh, now yeah. be inquisitive or inquisitive oh, accounts. Yeah, yeah. And I they were sick, this. dude. They used to run around with like Addy daggers, uh, sorry, Addy defenders, and like soul split. Like they were insane. Like they would just that, destroy everything. That's what's exciting right now, right? And we're not even covering bounty hunter yet. I'm sure we'll cover it in a bit. But can you imagine bounty hunter, no overheads, different account builds, different brackets? And these prayers alongside it with maybe even armor sets that go along with the build. 
like I remember back when we were talking about new account builds and like obsidian builds. It's like, okay, you got armor sets, but they're kind of shit. Like no one's going to play them. People probably will try out different builds of these prayers back in different yeah. combat levels up if they don't need defense. Bro, so, I'm going to... Yeah. I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an account. I might just yeah, make I'm a jump on that account. I might just make a one defense for now for PvP. When you have like a Zerka or like a a pure or like a thirty def account, it's actually quite reasonable because the twenty five percent defense that you normally would have or whatever it is on the actual spell book isn't that much of a difference. Mm-hmm. Or like the fifteen percent when, for example, when you're in a pure, because you, no one actually uses the fifteen percent prayers on a pure because it literally means zero, unless you get two defense, then it starts meaning like a tiny bit. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. What I, what I will say real quick is, why do you think that they've not given us an indication of roughly like what prayer level these are going to fall into? Do you think that's they just did, a stop? We don't know yet. <laughs> well, they did say that they're like eighties, perhaps even nineties. I think they said these I read half, that. There's no way yeah. they're not nineties. Surely yeah. they're nineties. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like these yeah. could be high eighties. These could be um, for sure. Yeah, the the last three definitely like high eighties, low nineties. You know like, what's you know what's gonna happen sure. when they give out the prayer levels? Dragon oh, bones are gonna go up to six thousand. <laughs> I'm telling Yo, you, maybe. bones will go crazy. Dude, I'm that. not I'm not gonna lie, man. After your recent merchant uh, journey, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Hey, don't, listen to hey, you don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm absolute trash, apparently, I, and I, I do not, not have any. This is no financial advice. I don't I think, have any. Um, <laughs> I think it's gonna peak at like 4K, and then and then that and then dump right before the update hits. Yeah. Let's let's make a wager, right? Dragon no, Bell. No, no, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know. No oh. Tivo wager. Oh, okay. I got a Tivo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think yeah. Dragon Bones, dude. Let's make a bet. What what price do you think that Dragon Bones are going to hit their peak? <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I think his main ability is going to go. I think, is gonna go, I think they're going to go over nine k. I think I think about nine k, may, maybe eleven. Nine k. I will take that bet any day. What are we betting? There's no way it gets a nine k. <laughs> I'd bet? say like four k and then? peak and crash. You know. What are we I you also, you also got to think about the superior bones and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. People just like, farm. Isn't there a lot, a lot of Volcaf bots? I don't, I don't know, know, but I know a lot of people kill Vorkath in general. So yeah, yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, people wait, just want Vorkath. You know, and I, the prices. Were dude, I didn't mostly. say I was betting. I just wanted to know what you guys thought. The oh, were going to. Yeah. oh, I know he's backing out. <laughs> hey, yeah, I know. Bro, what do you want to bet? What do you want to bet? I, I think. I said Boy Waker. Boy Waker. Right now. You wanna, okay, I'll bet you a Voy. Well, what's your what's your number? What do you think's the max? I think six. I think six. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think nine. So what, what are we going to say? Anything over 7.5k, I win. And anything under, you win. Whatever it leans towards, I would say. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, is yours closer, closer or is mine closer? And yeah, right here, right here. Give it to me. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. my days. Yeah. That doesn't All look right, as good, go. honestly. Connected. Connected. Angle, but... Connected. I'm going to single... <laughs> dude, I'm going to single-handedly... I'm going to really do crap. everything I can to fucking propaganda the shit out of these prayers and be like, boys, go buy your <laughs> D-bones. Go get, I'm going to kill all the dragon bots as well. it on Twitter. I will retweet it at me. Take this shit, retweet mm-hmm. it. The real question, though, is what the fuck are Superior Bones going to go for? Mm. Uh, people... no, I don't know. I don't even know the price right Bro, now, dude. So, like, so, so, so listen, 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 listen. You got to understand, like, my me betting on something, there's a complex calculation behind it. Complex. My, oh, my, complex. You didn't even know what you were doing during fucking EOC. Bro, was the going? Yeah, bro, bro. Free money, bro. I was, I was I too saw busy you last night. I've never been more sure in my hey, life I'm walking away from Void Waker. I'm thinking about all the casuals that are not going to have even a clue that fucking superior bones are a thing. They're just going to be like, oh shit, new prayers, curses, oh, dragon bone. Because yeah. what the fuck's a dagger off king? What's a fucking boost. superior Vork? Like they're not even gonna think about it. It's not even gonna cross the average player. Uh, I minds. think there's plenty of people that n- know what Vorkath is and stuff. Uh, yeah. How much yeah. do you think superior bones are? If you, if you, you got I seventy prey, you probably gonna know what Vorkav is. Yeah, exactly. What do you guys yeah, think? How, we'll how much is superior bones? Twenty k. What are they at right now? What are they at right now? Such high guesses, five, 12.5, 20k, dear god. <laughs> well, to be fair, yeah, I I'd say 20k. I'd go up with maybe a few k, you know? If I'd say 20k. That, that's about the same, like, jump as my D-Bones. I think they're going to less I, than double, or actually, no, they're going to over-double. superior double. bones, I don't know what they're going to go to, but I could feel this item spiking. Like, one of those crazy spikes, right? Where all the sweaty nerds just dump their bank in a 99 prayer, like, the same week. I can see this shit just, it'll go right back down where everyone finds Warcraft. But I guess I don't know what's gonna hit, but it's gonna have one of those wild but spikes. Like a lot of it with the merchant crowns as well, if they go on it as well. 
Are there, there probably, dude, is that even still a thing? And they like, just control the market. Are merchant you, clans still cabbage thing? shields? I don't know what the fuck's going on with those, but someone's behind them. Yeah, the merchant. Mm -hmm. I, I, I showed Reese a video about a month ago, and it was about merchant clans pre OC. And I don't know if you guys remember the name Smoking Mills. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. people, people used to bat, like, it was a merchant clan where they um, used to just max buy, like, loads of different items and then just skyrocket the item. And it was just a massive pump and dump group. Oh, God. You guys don't remember, you guys don't remember that? Uh, yeah, it oh, still so goes on now, right? Bro, there are That's a cool bro. memory for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I, only, I only know PC 101 and Next and <laughs> That's all. That's all I know. Those, by, those by were the, way, uh, the flipping. I have a, a tangent quest, question, real quick. So, Joel, solo mission. Mm -hmm. You said that you were on your calculator now. You strike me as the kind of guy who would still have a physical calculator from like science class. Am I right? Or is it your phone? Honestly, now I yeah, I, I, I still have a scientific one. Yeah, because Show you it. can't do it. Just pull it That's out. That's it. Right Show us. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have it like to hand. Oh, bro, you're just. <laughs> but I've got. I've got. <laughs> what you want to see his calculator? So, like, no, no, I, no, no, it would no, have no, cracked no, me but... up if you had an actual calculator there, like one of the old science no, ones. No, you know? no, no. But like, so when you do like STEM subjects, like you're, you're thinking of a scientific cal scientific calculator, but I had what's called a graphical calculator where you could plot uh, functions on it and all these sort of things. You, you, you'd be impressed. Bro. You'd be impressed. Dude, have you ever I, seen a graphical calculator? Mate, the only thing that ever impressed me about one of those calculators was learning how to draw boobs on it. Do you remember yeah, that? Boobs and ass. <laughs> His bro, okay. That was all Four, we did five, with our five. calculators, bro. We we managed to get tits on the screen. <laughs> that was about that was the only time in my life I've said that a calculator is cool. But I know that you live in a different fucking dimension. Yo, like his so. graph calculator. Come on. Yeah, man. Look at my. <laughs> yeah. If I showed you some pretty bro. graphs on the graphical calculator, yeah, I, re I reckon you'll be able to. <laughs> oh, dude. So so lame. Not gonna lie. Right. Anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> Offen offensive prayers are Alien. complete. Get reading, kid. <laughs> We're gonna move on now to over overhead offensive prayers. Shit. Okay. Well, this is that means you're is... not protecting, but you're using something else that would benefit you in a way. So, so like yeah, a smite, for example. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Would anybody like to read solo mission? Would you? Uh, would you like to partake? <laughs> what you want me to read? Let me get it on myself. We're, we're starting on the line that says Gambit. Um, okay, so we've just had offensive prayers where you turn them on. It's like ultimate strength, piety, those sort of things. So it's not it's not as an overhead. But when you turn on these overheads, you're not going to be able to have protect melee up at the same time. So is this... Sorry, let me get to the right mm -hmm. position here. Gosh, you're looking for the word crazy, Gambit. Bro. Gambit, brother. Mm-hmm. Oh no! Wait, I need I need to scroll down. Sorry, bear with me mm. one second. Apologies mm. to the viewers at home for wasting your time. Oh dang! Okay. <laughs> subscribe to him. <laughs> Gambit. Gambit provides eight percent accuracy in all styles when used. Whether you're using this for better odds of hitting that juicy dragon ball hammer special <laughs> attack, or flicking <laughs> between this and your protection prayers to maximize your damage output, we're confident players of all skill levels will be able to get value out of Gambit. 8% accuracy might not look like much, much to some of you, but remember you can combine it with other offensive prayers above. Finding any opportunity to throw gambits into the mix will take your damage potential to new heights, even if it's something you only bring out for the occasional special attack. So that is very good because we've got this 8% coming from gambit on our overhead, and if you remember, we also have 20% attack bonus from decimate. So Damn. effectively, we can get 28% accuracy here compared to Pytee's 20% Three. 20? Oh, I think it's 20. Also, it? it's, 20 it's all styles. Yeah. Too. yeah and it's 20. all styles wait, wait, wait. as well. So this is, yeah, mm. range accuracy, mage accuracy, and like accuracy. accuracy. Tom. That's and there's no, no downside no, no, no. to it. Right, it's so I'm big. just... Where, where'd you get the accuracy from? Um, That's what from it says. Plus 8% accuracy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but... Pytee is 20% accuracy, I'm pretty sure. 20, yeah. 20% yeah. Attack, right. attack, attack or whatever it is. Yeah. 20, I think it's like 25% attack or something even, right? 20, 25? I, I, think, I, 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 I think it's the, the defense, defense is 25, 25, the strength yeah. is 22, and then the attack is 20. So yeah. this is an 8% yeah, 8, 8 upgrade over Pytee, and it's an 8% upgrade, well, all things considered, for the mage versions and the range versions as well. Oh, hunting so, someone with that with me. When it combines, this is very <laughs> strong, but obviously it isn't overhead, so you're trading off with um, yeah, safety. Getting, mm. getting rid of your over, yeah, overhead. Another high skill thing as well. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, so, yeah. Which is so exactly. Like 
so, so wait, wait, someone wait, wait. like Reese might be able to flick this while he's yeah. like PKing somebody. Like you know how someone can flick Smite in the in the middle of a fight now. Yeah. yeah. What people might go for Gambit instead. Here. That's pretty sick. So That's real quick, sick. Solo, what are you like, saying? What are you saying that this would be combined with Gambit and what was the other um, part? Annihil Annihilate Eviscerate or whatever they're called. Okay, okay. Oh, de de decimate, Annihilate, and Vaporize. So you can have them both on at the same time so they stack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something like this as well in PvP, catching freezes is massive, especially nowadays. Oh, God. And for TB and someone this catching is... freezes when someone's trying to escape, you can flick this on and it's actually extremely good. Yeah, oh, or, like, yeah. It, 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 this is going to be, be used in those crucial moments for sure. Yeah, but. exactly. Yeah. Uh, yo, I'm yeah. already going to hate like when someone's trying to freeze me with that thing on. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a, a decent amount as well. Draggers yeah. and Zerg and Water Staff catching every freeze because they have 30 plus percent accuracy is going to yeah. be. <laughs> so, you real know, quick, um, much, uh, how it be, to be fair. Yeah. How, how do you I'm calculate the myself. accuracy on Pyte? Like what? What's the process there? How do you figure out what the accuracy increases? Yeah, it's on the prayer. It's on the prayer book. I'm pretty Is it sure. It just tells you. It just tells yeah. you. But you need a tooltip info thing on, or or oh. you read the wiki. You can have it. I do want to say also with the freezing, <laughs> with like Augury, you have twenty five percent mage defense as well. So the eight percent like added onto this isn't that much of a defense. So it's like fifty percent if you think of mage damage as well as mage defense. If that makes sense with Augury. So using this spell book when you're actually trying to go for free for freeze isn't actually that good, I don't think. Yeah, because you have yeah, because yeah, you have the defense. defense. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, as well the offense. Yeah, like if if you try and play, it, it won't add up to that more. Augury is horrible. <laughs> yeah, Augury yeah. is actually insane. Yeah, yeah, so, it's, yeah, it's got that fat tank yeah. ability. Yeah. Solo mission. Could you give me? Could you give the audience an example of when this quest? Uh, sorry, when this um prayer would be used in a PVM scenario. When could you take advantage oh. of this? Well, at any boss where you can flick between your overhead. So say, for example, at Musper, like to use an example, you pray range, right, for the Musper attacks. And then a lot of people like to flick smite when they're attacking on their attack tick. So essentially, you could do that at any boss in the game with this prayer. So, and then, and then also, it's very, very useful for things like, say if you're soloing chambers, you're not actually getting hit by the boss, are you? You're doing like four to zero, whatever you call it. And um, you'd have this above your head at all times for that, for example. Anything where you're going to go in for a Dragon Warhammer spec, you're going to want this on, so like, you'd use this at Tekton. You're going to be using this all over the game. I mean, it's one of those things where it depends how sweaty you want to be. For, so, for example, something like Nightmare, where it's very obvious that you have to pray range. Yeah. You're not going to sit with this up because you're going to take loads of damage. So if you want to be sweaty, you can get that extra 8% per hit. But if, if you don't really want to, you don't. It's not a terrible loss in DPS. I love it. And then also, yeah. also, also in places, a lot of PVM these days, it, you're against really low defense monsters. So you wouldn't really bother to use this anyway. Like if I was doing a 300 TOA and I was just like T-bowing as a bag, I'm probably not going to bother to put this on between yeah. my hits because... It's just like extra effort. If you're really, really trying to sweat it out for it. this is like <laughs> this is for yeah. this is for the sweatiest of people. Yeah. And for the average person, this is what you chuck on when you're not getting hit by the boss or when you want to go in for a dragon warhammer spec or yeah, yeah. one of those crucial circumstances. Yeah. Also when you if you miss a flick, it's quite a lot on this spell book. Like again with the defense. Yeah, the other spell yeah. books. So doing something like this, you have to be highly skilled using that. Sounds great. Yeah. I mean I, I think I, I think about, real quick, like, Rice Cup recently, you were killing Corporal Beast, right? So it's like, in between its hit, you flick that on, speeds up the kill kind of deal. I like it. Uh, well, I would probably only use it as spec with a war hammer, to be honest. Because mm -hmm. you're, you're, like, a chilled gamer? Or right, no, because Corporal... Right because corporate attacks had a different attack yeah, speed. Yeah, it has a, it's not a predictable cycle, is it? Like, well, it's, it's yeah, not, like... Yeah, corp, yeah cor corp Corp sometimes resets his aggro, which means that, like, sometimes it'll hit you. Uh, so normally it hits you, right? And then it has to wait 2.4 seconds, but sometimes it'll reset his aggro, and then it'll hit you instantly again. Like, is any without, of the monsters like that in the game? Barely, oh, no, nah, Corp is fucking weird. Yeah, I yeah that's not yeah. weird. So you can't, yeah, it's kind of dangerous to do Corp, because, like, he'll he'll literally back-to-back -back you in, like, a second sometimes. And you okay. won't, you, you can't predict it. It's an unpredictable. So, yeah. And sometimes you'll kind of like that. But so, is yes, probably rough. like the best example then that I can take. I, I would just use it. If it was Corp, I would just use it to spec the Warhammer and that's it. You know, yeah. call it a day on that. But, but I think what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, for sure, there's definitely different levels of, of skill use for this, uh, you know, for this thing here. 
I feel like for the casual players, there's a good amount of opportunities you can still use something like Gambit. But uh, for the sweaty players, though, you can use this like anywhere all the time. You know, just like in in like really time moments, right? Like switching between protection and yeah, just come always switching between the two if you really know what you're doing. But I think there's still room for casual players to use this. Uh, yeah. As for, I'd yeah. say it's actually pretty good for casual people in situations, say, Kefri, for example, where you're not actually yeah. getting directly damaged from the boss, yeah, so you yeah. can have this overhead on. And a, a, a max sweaty guy already has, like, 100% accuracy from, like, having a fang and everything. But if you've got, like, a... If you're on your Iron Man with, like, a Zami Haster or something... Oh, that shit's going to help. <laughs> but, like, like, this is going to help because you need that extra accuracy. Or, say, if you're using a crossbow or a bofa in P3 Wardens where yeah. the minions haven't spawned yet, you may as well just have this up. And it's a little bit of a leveler if you can't afford, like, a T-Bow or a Shadow or something like yeah. that to, like, bring your gear up to high, scratch. scratch. It's like, it, it, it's, 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 it's better. It's better than most, nothing. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing. I mean, but most, it's most of these monsters are already low defense. But it, it, yeah, it, it depends. Yeah, it's, it's that's what I'm trying to say. That when you're in that mid game and your accuracy is quite low, it, I it, mean, oh, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like to be yeah. fair, Kefri, yeah. Kefri's not actually that like like uh, so like uh, it's not really a sponge. It actually is pretty tanky. So. So yeah, having eight percent accuracy at all times is huge. Even even uh, yeah. even if you're a fan user, is still huge. So yeah, yeah, it's quite the it's quite the big uh, big boost on top so, of the you know other ones. Real quick, uh, does anyone remember what the accuracy on turmoil was? It was like twenty five percent accuracy. Uh, wasn't right? it? Wasn't it? It gradually got higher over time, or something. But there's a cap. I think it, uh, there was a cap, yeah. though. It was like, um, it's like the numbers were always like. Uh, I it was suppose like was it was it strength, was it like thirty two percent strength or something? It was very yeah, it was very yeah. strong. I think it was like thirty one percent strength and like twenty seven percent attack or something like that. Yeah. It was like weird numbers. It was just and then with a cap. It, it caps pretty quick though, to be fair. Yeah, something like it, that. It does, but we're it we're we're effectively good. we're effectively getting that for all three styles. So if you, if yeah, you're someone yeah, that thinks this right. prayer book is weak, it is certainly not. Nah, weak. It's yeah, not. It's I not, mean, not, even yeah. without yeah. Gambit, this shit is cracked already. So mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think people use this all over the place, and in PvP yeah. as well. If you're just a guy that fights at the Grand Exchange. What like you may you have to choose between using this or using smite because this will make you more accurate if you're doing DHing anything like that. So, yeah, ooh, you know, yeah, that'd be some like crazy ru DH. Ru rushing, rushing in PvP as well, you'd have this up. I'm assuming. Yeah. 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 Like, smite, you'd have to rag, choice. like if you're in rag fighting PvMers and they never fight back, you might as well, right? If you're out of ball, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so you have that. You have that nice yeah. choice now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so much yeah. more best. I actually, I, I do like it. Yeah. Yeah, Gambit's cool. I'm excited to use this, personally. Do you know what so. this is? This is just giving me a thought, by the way, and I think this would be really cool. Jagex, when you do the beta worlds, I would love it, and I, I think that people would probably participate more in the beta if it's possible to like open up LMS. Just have LMS open with all of these prayers in there, and people can just go in and just test it in there. I think that would be a way better way than going up to the table and having to like go through all of the items you want, etc. Just throw people. Yeah, throw true. People I hate arena. that, bro. It's like throw people in the arena, let them just go in, lower the amount of players to start the game, or just whatever, and just like allow people just to test this in a variation of yeah. gear and just see what it's like. I think that would be great, and I mean, I from your uh, reaction question that would be nice as well question about the beta do they do they have default set setups now or no i think they choose every time depending on what the beta is for they, could just, they really they should just, just they should just have some default setups man because like i hate having to like switch my keys every time on the settings all right you like, like save your game oh you? yeah, yeah for that, that kind it's of I think it's quite clunky when they do set up these manually set up these yeah, beta dude, worlds so or eight. tournament worlds. Or like, yeah, it's so do, annoying. Do you not think yeah, that would yeah. be? Do you guys agree that would be an easier way? Yeah, to I get think like LMS a, would be cool. I mean, because yeah, so many dude. people do LMS, and it'd be so easy just to like, okay, I'm just going to log in, go in LMS, and then just try out the prayers. Mm. And your default yeah, for I agree. the prayer book, and you can test it out in like. Mystic, it'd be great for like a PVPers uh, kind of like assessment, you know? Yeah, because yeah. because yeah. the thing is, like, we know what PVPers are like. 
They're lazy. You, yeah. They're yeah. good for nothing. So it's like they they just want. No, I'm joking. But they, you know, have an LMS there. Even for me, I would I would much rather participate in the beta if it's easy to do instead of having to have all the clunky shit where you do your F keys. Well, you're gonna have to do that anyways. But you get my point. Like trying to get all the loot off the table and stuff. Yeah. It would be nice. Just just. Or, or if you just do like LMS a jackets. set of loadout or something like that. That yeah, makes it easier. I was thinking, something like something that makes like people cares. want to test it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, they could ask PK. Like, easy. hey, you send in a loadout, and you could like right click a guy, and it'd be like, okay, you want the re slowdown? Yeah, know, like the, when they when you like, do you know in PP arena when you can copy someone else's gear? Yeah, that's that'd be thing. cool. Yeah. yeah, make it easy. Make it easy. I think they have had presets in the past though, so they definitely have. Yeah, the they really they should. Have, yeah. <laughs> Their yeah, presets are so wonky, though. They need to get, like, the, you hit the PKers up. Give them a preset. We don't, some wonky <laughs> ass fucking yeah, we, presets. We need, we need something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the same time. Should we go move right. on to the Rebooky? You're happy, yeah. happy with Gambit. Yeah, happy. What the fuck's yeah. that? Rebooky. I'm just saying Rebooky. What have you been okay. doing, Rice? I'm just memeing the name <laughs> Rebooky. <laughs> Right, yeah. well, you want me to read this again? I, I got you. I got Continue. you. Reboot increases you. your damage by 50%, reflects 50% of any damage dealt to you. Pure risk, burst, reward, sacrifice, or protection prayer for a chance at unleashing a devastating vengeance. And if you you use this with, uh, oh no, you can't, you can't use this with reflect, huh? Never mind. Yeah. It's actually really cool for PvP because mm. think about vengeance. It isn't damage for damage, for example. It's like, a, is it like 40% of what actual damage they do? This is the exact 15%. So, for example, you got this up as well as venge. Obviously, it's a bit obvious when you flick it and you can see like the prayer over your head. Well, this guy's gonna try and anti me or something like that. But for anti PKs, this is actually really cool. PDM is. What's the max hit for Karassi right now in full Torva? 76, I believe, or 78. Yeah, somewhere on that, yeah. 78. So what's 15% of 78? So yeah, think about this bounty under crater. But you can can (laughs) stack it with. with vengeance, right? Unless it's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't say you it's can't. A, it's so. eleven point yeah. seven. and then you can stack so... it with your damage. So like that's actually Dude, really stew. cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that could can. literally one shot somebody. Yeah. yeah. Well, yo, yeah. I'll say that's like cool. think about bounty creators, no overheads, and then you have Void Waker that's hitting eighties. We're going to be seeing a lot of just rushing again. Yeah, rushing anti PK, especially with these prayers. With when you anti PK it with a normal spell book, you have a lot of defense, like. For example, you if you're like trying to debo someone out, you have rigor on. That has a lot of defense. With this spellbook, it has no defense. Yeah, so really they're gonna risky. hit higher on your venge more often. You yeah. know what I mean? It reminds you me of those people at PvP people. worlds. They have like the fashion scape on, and then they'll oh yeah, they just send the venge and go for it. Yeah, yes. I hate yes. those people, but I respect it. And this is right up <laughs> yeah. their alley too. It's gonna be perfect. It works to be fair. Yeah. Well, yeah, some people really know pit, right? Yeah. I'm really bad at pit, but if you're a master at pit. And this is going to be right up your alley because as soon as yeah. pit hits, you dump you know. spec. Your kill chance is probably going up 10, 20% just on this. Yeah, spellbook. on the spellbook, especially. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Insane. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's more. This one's Whoa. definitely a bit more PvP, but um, we boost there are some uses in PvP. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good for like if you know is that it? the boss is about to die, you know, you can, you can oh, basically yeah, guarantee now, like yeah. a recoil and kill it or something. That's like one thing that comes to mind or just like places where um, you just usually can get an excess amount of food drops. Oh, yeah, or when people like, like speed run in Jad and they put Venge up and shit like that. Oh, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely some yeah. speed run strats. Like I said, it would be like if you know it's going to kill the boss kind of deal. You just put that yeah. on and like, uh, increase your odds of killing it on, uh, fa- faster, basically. I feel like the Inferno speed runs are going to get a nice coat of paint when this comes out. Inferno. If they could even do Inferno with this setup, like triple um, you, can, you can definitely maybe. gambit. You can definitely gambit Inferno. Uh, Rebook's kind of. I don't think Rebook's going to be the play for the Inferno because no. you really can't afford to tank yeah, a hit. Take damage, from, yeah. <laughs> well, imagine, yeah. you imagine know? Whoops, yeah. bro, coming back and getting the the world record speed run for Inferno because he's just doing some weird standing other tick eating shit while just max damage dude. like i for those people who have mastered the game to the point where they can do no pillars inferno like this is probably like okay yeah i could i can make this fit right well uh, yeah they can do gambit inferno though they can use gambit a lot in inferno. Well, i feel like reboot's definitely way more restrictive and way more i was just talking about the whole skill i don't i don't know about oh yeah reboot. the whole book yeah the whole book yeah. i i think for speedrunning this book is definitely viable like 
for sure. Takes it is so like so deep Very into viable. it for flicking and whatnot, especially with Gambit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna, I, yeah I will, I will gonna definitely want to watch someone doing. It's speed gonna be extra this, sweaty. Level. It's gonna be fun yeah. to watch, dude. Because like when they mess up, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah, there will be, be some bad. Gambit using like at at like uh, the Jets and like Zog, you know, things like that for sure. They're gonna definitely use that huge. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's like there's moments where you don't prayer flick the protection prayers or anything, so you just have that on. Yeah, I, I you got want. you. Um, vindiction. Okay, this one kind of interests me. Vindication. Uh, I don't know exactly. like vindication. Sorry, pulled a rakesy. Uh When <laughs> reduced below ten percent of your maximum HP without taking lethal damage, heals for fifteen percent of your prayer level and lose any remaining prayer points for six seconds after vindic vin whatever <laughs> triggers. Your next attack will deal ten percent bonus damage. So and I'm guessing it's only in between that six percent. I assume. What do you mean? Six percent? Oh, you mean uh, six, six seconds? Six seconds. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. This is like a smite. I mean, a redemption on steroids. Yeah, it's like you know? a redemption on roids type of thing. Yeah, that's what I would mm -hmm. say it does. Yeah, I'm wondering exactly. if like and it isn't as good as people this? think though. Because what are you gonna do? For example, over. like I don't know, you're in DH or something like that. You get hit down, and then you're gonna have to restore. Then put your prayers on for it to be worth it, and then hit with DH. Yeah. And then you pop box yeah. yourself, potentially die. Yeah. This was gonna say like, how would this act? In DH, because what I like yeah, to do, yeah, fifteen percent heal is like not that much compared to the thirty percent or something from Redemption. Well, right? well, think about yeah, like 20%. you activate it, right? Say you're like fighting guys, not fighting back. You lower your HP, activate Vindiction, lower it back. Now you have like maybe four HP, DH plus ten percent. Like that's what I'm thinking. Like super risky PKing, but you could just disappear bro actually, yeah yeah it'd be it'd be cool yeah you know you know what's crazy it's not very viable though I would say. not viable at all that's I the mean, best yeah. part it is yeah. not no, no, actually this is not a this is not a pvp prayer this is a pvm prayer bro this shit's <laughs> correct yeah the vindication is actually correct for pvm because there's yeah. a lot of there's some places where you you purposely trigger redemption so oh yeah like like um, fisbila so good you're gonna yeah, get yeah, that's that's extra damage <laughs> the, pro the, yeah, problem, yeah. Problem, the problem is at the moment though i don't think it yeah. heals you enough for, to to be able to do cm bus bueller i think um, you end up dying well because oh uh, yeah the, you, you have to do like, like three hits don't you have to take three hits well for Spila, um well it, it's about the max hit that it does right so the boss hits an eight up to an eight so if if you heal 15 percent, i don't know what that would equal to but no but as, as in like i feel like this maybe someone could do it but like yeah. You only go up to like what, like yeah, a little bit of hit when, points. When you have to just maybe you'd, when you have to drink you have, a restore, you, have to, though, you might have to drink some restores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, you have to I don't know. It, it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard. Yeah, it's hard it to know depends. how it would feel. Like yeah, you'd have, hard, you'd be yeah. clicking, you'd be clicking a lot more. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it just depends yeah. on how much you get back from fifteen percent. Let's see, fifteen percent mm. of your prayer level, right? So that would be like, um, yeah, you would heal like a fifteen, basically. 15 you probably yeah. have like 20 hp on average so yeah you would take like two hit you would take like two hits on top mm. um yeah it'd be trickier you probably need to time your brew heals a bit better too or something like that yeah but so then that, when you brew yeah. down it becomes less well it, like if, if you're like pro you'll do it in between like the overload timers and yeah it's, it'll be a bit tricky but like i think the yeah, pros can like definitely seconds, um yeah. i think the yeah. pros can definitely make it like something that it would definitely uh, be make a faster fist because like a ten percent bonus damage is actually f fat, yeah. And yeah, well, this, yeah it's just fat. Yeah. This is fat. Th this is this is one of those things where you, you yeah. could literally use it everywhere as well. It's like Gambit. If you wanted to be sweaty enough, you could rock cake down and do this every hit or yeah. I mean, it would be insanely yeah. difficult. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it'd be really if hard. you're a really really top speed runner, I think it really yeah increases think, the skill ceiling dramatically. Sure. This one. I think finication probably has the hardest use case for any like doesn't matter what you do PVP PVM it's like it's yeah. gonna test you. It's that to the, six to the limit. second oh. period too, right? Because you gotta yeah. like say if you're rushing, and I don't even know if this makes your max hit go up at all. Like where a dark bow, can you go harder than a forty nine forty nine if you have this? Maybe maybe not. You gotta ask the James. No, forty eight forty eight forty eight. Forty eight. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So for rushing though, for some of these weapons. It's gonna be scary because you gotta get yourself below, then you gotta heal up, and in that time you gotta find <laughs> someone to dump spec. So you're gonna go ahead and probably avenge and die, but yeah. if they're not avenge, you might just one tap them. You, you know what yeah. a good uh like r real life kind of like like a way to relate it to real life? It's like vindication is like the trick shot. It's not something you would do in like a like a standard play, right? Like what what are, like if you're playing sports, it's like one of those like 
in that moment you think you're gonna do something fucking crazy and then you pull off the yeah. vindication <laughs> but because like nine out of ten times you try to do something crazy with it it'll probably you'll fall flat on your face and then that one out of ten time you you make it you make a crazy pull with the shit and then you just kill someone with it you know i wonder if you could proc it back to back <laughs> so say you proc uh, it you use it and then you get it up again somehow sounds like you can it, it doesn't i think you can yeah, yeah it doesn't say uh, it has a limit. Why not, yeah yeah because you can spam crazy. redemptions right so uh, that'd be the most risky rushing of all time this is this is just like uh, i'm just thinking like uh like a like a normal pvp situation like a tournament right where the dude's like down to their only prayer pots and they're just yeah, like yeah yeah. Vindication spamming and just hoping that it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just call it. I think That'd you're right. Crazy. It would be really difficult to it's pull Jesus. this off in a meaningful way. But if you did, yeah, it would like be like consistent awesome. way. In a consistent way, I think yeah. this is more of like a trick shot. You know, life is on the yeah. line kind of thing for PvP. I doubt many people use it in like an actual situation. Yeah, I think there's EVM a way to see if there's something you can do consistently with it. Like tough. if you watch those professional mm -hmm. DHers, right? I don't know what the fuck you would call them pro DHers, people who just stand at Edgeville Bank, whatever you call them there, they will get hit and then take that time. They won't hit back, tick perfect, but take that time to literally lower their HP to zero or some shit and then hit them and teleport. Like, that's a that's a play uh, a lot of people do if they have time in DH true. fighting. Dude, so, I'll tell you something. DH fighting is going to be really interesting because I imagine mm -hmm. for a very long time until the meta gets sorted out here and it's, like, solid, They'll just be like, I'm not fighting you if you're doing curses. Like, we're pity fight, and that's it. And then there'll probably be like a few people that use the curses that really understand how to take advantage of this. So Wait it, a it minute. It's cool. Yo, Min, you said something about rushing, right? So, like, so like you, you could trigger redemption, you can trigger this shit on your own, right? Yeah, I was saying like rock like cage into it again mid fight. You're low oh. HP. I don't know if it smites you. So you might it does. Have to like, like, it, it does. It does smite you. Yeah, so this is like, you have what, to prayer fight in bro, between. Like it'd be crazy. I'm just the, thinking, like for someone rushing, right? Last thing I'll say about it. It's like they could literally set up the vindication. They have six seconds to get the ten percent damage. They put on the gamba and they rush somebody with it. You know. <laughs> Yo, yeah, when this yeah. comes out, I want to see a mad <laughs> cow. Karasi Russian movie. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to. I mean, he's got, gonna go I want to see him get a double G ball action with DH of this. That'd be actually yeah. madness. Just, just the G ball in general, just thin oh, that, yeah, just handed, handed out, handed out fucking free Karasis. The, yeah, the only, I, I, I think someone's dude, gonna do that. Listen, this is like I, suicide mission right here. That's the title of the video. <laughs> if, it get, if, it if it doesn't, if it doesn't get demonetized, where you uh, rush you gave double the title G for no, gambit mission. <laughs> You're gonna see day one of this shit suicide mission. It's gonna be a rushing. <laughs> yeah. Click on that video. <laughs> like literally, I see people doing the vindication rush into the gambit. You know, like. Why not, yeah. right? PvP worlds, yeah, I yeah. see people do that what shit. Is, what does it sound like dances, bro? It sounds like Fortnite dances, the gambit. What the fuck is that? It's your gambling. It's a gamble. The gambit, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, feel like the, the vindication should be called gambit, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, it should I feel be. Like, they should swap the names like, on yeah. this. Yeah, I feel like gambit should be vindication. Because that, that is a real yeah, gamble, you're right, honestly. Yeah. That's a real yeah. gamble. Well, never... So well, how, how gambit used to work was you get... What was it? One percent accuracy for every three hit points you've lost. Oh, so right. you're on yeah, points, low life, three, right? Three, three percent accuracy. Cool. So that's why it's called Gamba. Yeah, get, they call uh, it because uh, they, they added. Changed that, though. They yeah, wanted okay. low life mechanics. Yeah, I, don't, in there, I, don't, right? I understand why they've changed it. <laughs> yeah. I, I was pretty strong. Let go of the yeah. past, man. Forget it. It was, yeah. it was worthless. It wasn't worth your memory. Uh, they wanted to bring the. <laughs> yep, true, true. They wanted to bring back the low life mechanic, but they scrapped it. So. Yeah, mm. but like, but then again, I feel like yeah, like vindication doesn't really. I feel like gambit doesn't really work. Like the naming for this, it's like kind of. They should swap bad. them rounds. They should swap yeah. gambit and vindication. I think that's a, a fair thing. Vind vindication is yeah. a good name. It is. It still means what it does, though. Vindication. Yeah, I just feel like gambit mean, is barely a gamble. You know, I feel oh, like gambit's barely a gamble. Get, yeah, get your graph yeah. calculator around, mate. What does it mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> calculate. Yeah, sorry. True. Calculate the graph. On vindication. Yeah. Let's have a look. Vindication. <laughs> the, ac the action of clearing someone of blame or suspicion. Yeah, they get a redemption. Yeah, you know, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Second, second uh, wind. Clearing yeah. someone of blame or suspicion. Right. So yeah, it doesn't go for what this says, but it doesn't really go with this either. But I just feel like this is this this should be here. This should be gambit. 
Yeah, because that's a real gamble. That this shit is yeah. a real gamble. Yeah, curses are or sorry, not curses. The new prayer book is going to be so like I was thinking. DHP King obviously is going to be strong, but can you imagine scumbagging someone? They think your vengeance is down. They're low HP. They hit you, and you put deflect up. They die. Mm, yeah, true. I mean, you could scumbag so many people with this. Like, if they're low, people like the risk. Oh, he doesn't have Venge. You hit him, it reflects damage back on them just because of the spell, and they're dead. And people are not going to see that coming. Yeah, yeah. So if you new. do it on the correct tick, it's as tough. Well. This uh, is tough, dude. Man. Even I'm, if yeah. you don't even correct tick, they just hit it. They don't fucking know, dude. Like the Voidwalker mm. day one, no one knew what Mage Prayer was. Yeah, I mean, still had to do First week, they were still <laughs> yeah. figuring it out. I mean, it was yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. I actually really like what I see uh. so far because I, I see there being some genuinely useful things in this. For I think it's taking good shape. I think it's yeah. looking pretty, and then, you know, nice and round. You know, for, it's adding for, depth for PvP. Mm. I feel like it's adding like a lot more risk, but also at the same time a lot more like retaliation and power. So it's like in the wrong, in the right hands, like a rusher can take like... advantage of these and destroy somebody. But on the other hand, if you're anti PKing and you know how these prayers work, like you can take full advantage. And I yeah, like that. I feel like um, I feel like what's gonna happen is right. There's gonna be these high skill PVPers that will occasionally die because they just you know go crazy go with it, these yeah. prayers, right? And then it's someone wrong. accidentally specs them out. <laughs> like, yeah, Reese is gonna make a one bill video. Risking prayers. people, bro. I, I would not want to run into Reese when he's out making that video, yeah. just hitting whatever he's hitting yeah, with those fucking weapons. Well, like, yeah, yeah, you guys like half half your defense, with no overheads. Dude just DDS as you with, with yeah. unbox yeah. and kills you. You're like, oh, fuck. snow freezes. You're like crawling your back or something. You just dead. Yeah. So Wade Waker's hitting eighties, bro. Like you, you're gonna die. There's nothing. Mm. There's nothing to it. Yeah. Or or a noob can DDS you out, unpotted. You know, because you have like no defense. That's so. a big risk for me. Yeah, it's actually, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. take the take a rag set that's worth under one mil, and then put this on it. How powerful does a ballista get? A DDS get with accuracy and a defender that you can just burn through. I mean, how powerful oh. are we making noobs right now? Do we want it? But then, Maybe, but then I, I think know. the news will die because we we are also powerful. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Like they they have sure. so much less defense without Augury, especially Augury. But, it, yeah. but it's never right. the noobs in bad gear, is it? It's yeah. always the best fucking PKers out here and just don't want to risk shit because they're they got Bill Banks, yeah, they but they're out here in four hundred K and the painted kite yeah. shield. So we'll see. <laughs> We'll see, bro. I'm traumatized. Yeah, I'm traumatized. <laughs> He's been through some shit. <laughs> I have, dude. I have. So, so Reese, here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. So, you're you've got a lot closer ties and connections now with a lot of people that just do solely PvP. So, yeah, yeah. what what would you say is like the general consensus and feel from like your boys? in terms of these new prayers coming in because what i will say is i feel like times have changed a lot now but like back when i used to pk and back when like the uh the curses first came out we hated the idea of it just because for the pure reason of having to then put more money into a skill but i'm guessing that's not really a problem nowadays like everybody has yeah. like bills banks I mean, and stuff i mean some people are panicking about it but i think they People are scared of change, especially in PvP, because it's like untested. You don't know if it's going to break something. Like I was the same. Like the thing I said earlier about me and Joel about the volatile, but I was wrong in that in that case. And since then, I've tried to have like an open mind about stuff like this and mm -hmm. see it might be very strong. But what made the, volatile the game is, not as yeah. strong as you thought? Actually, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, what made it for you? Like when you used um, it? I mean, the accuracy, the accuracy of the volatile oh. isn't really that good. Yeah, it's not but double then, the accuracy. I noticed. Yeah, yeah and then. The thing is, uh, when Void Waker came out, everyone knew that it's just mental, that weapon. Like, the fact that you can't hit zero is just unreal. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy. But, like, in that, that weapon, because of how the game is, you, do you remember when Single PK used to be out? Imagine you had, like, Void Waker, Volatiles, Fangs, all these DPS items, but the game's just so much different. It's so much more about KOs. It's, it's not like Outlast, where um, Single Plus used to be. Not Single Plus, Single PK used to be. Where you have like a twenty man team against a twenty man team. Yeah. If you had all these weapons back then, both us as well, things like that, it would be detrimental. But people have more of an open mind now, I think. I think do you, it's do you like the way we're going, Reese? Like, do you enjoy that instead of outlasting uh, that it, there's more of a shine on KOing? I feel like it's this sounds bad, but I feel like PvPers don't have that high of a say where I can either like or dislike something and it actually matters, if that makes sense. 
Because I just could say, I, d- I dislike this thing. Yeah. This is terrible because of it being so good for uh, PVM and actually being a good update for PVM. It's not really anything you can say to change the minds, if that makes sense. I've learned uh, also, that about, about this game. I think there's another perspective too, right? Because like you have, you know, the wilderness PVM, PVP and, and, and then organized yeah, PVP, then, right? Yeah. yeah. So what, like, could you, could they not make like, you know, organize PvP more long-term fights, right? Because then you can just bring all the food and you can't really just teleport away, you know? Like, wherever, right? It's like, whoever dies at the end runs out of supplies kind of deal. Oh, yeah, like, like Outlast fights, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe cool, a little deathmatch pit where you gotta lock in, you can't log out. Yeah, I think, one, I one think the used. newer PKs will just get farmed in, in that yeah. type of situation. I don't think they'd even uh, try. There's yeah, no, they wouldn't, yeah. Right. It, it'd be like, if you've ever been to, like, 303 uh, Dragon... At rev caves it's literally like all the top pk is just fighting there day after day and like if any like mediocre pk comes they just get found by the five like extremely good people there we like to have a vibe i think which cool. is like it's it's probably quite bad for the game because you need new pks to have like a standpoint where they can well that's the thing the I, I think that like for at least a period of time this is going to completely shake shit up because everybody's yeah. going to be unused to this and they're going to have to get used to it, figure it all out. So it, in some ways it might make PKing kind of refreshing, but also very dangerous as well, because nobody's going to have a clue yeah. like how yeah. to really utilize these pressures, which is leads me onto a bit of a uh, concern, I guess. And I'm going to say it, but what I'm going to preference with before I say it is I definitely don't think that updates shouldn't come into the game because of existing problems. And what I mean by that is like, you shouldn't not put something into the game because there's a concern that it's going to be abused by say bots or cheaters. Because I think that when you go down that route, nothing happens. But is there like a concern? Yeah, there's from, always going to be problems. Yeah. Is there a concern from the the PK scene in terms of like, what if, for example, like one of the, um, one of the PK bots like figures out all of this shit way before any player does. Or do you not I think, think it's too possible? complex. I think these prayers are way too complex for like a bot no, to I, just use it. I don't. Properly, I don't. I don't, I don't think so. I think the bots can figure out pretty easily. But the thing is, in using this for this like prayer book, for example, you have like a tournament where this prayer book's the meta, and then you have a bot. You are in the tournament if there's a bot in there. For example, like Dead Man when it comes out. But like actual normal PKing, you can beat bots relatively easily, unless I would say unless a really good PKer. For example, I go rogue and start using a bot and start using these like things that make my switches faster, make me have an advantage. That's a really big problem, but oh, nobody really like, has done okay. that yet. Oh no, yeah. I thought you meant like an actual just like bot. bot. Yeah, a stra- straight up bots in the wilderness don't actually do that well. Yeah, that's why I was referring yeah. to. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about like people like HK with this stuff or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. HK is a big problem. It's like, even if we talk yeah. about that, like that's already a problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. And when it comes to, like bots in general, I'm not a big fan of putting in obstacles for real players because they can't figure out their bot problems. Like I still can't catch black chins, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it, is a, it is a mess right now with high, like, high level. Oh, I do that shit. You know, quest with the Eagles, bro. Hell, I ain't doing that shit, bro. <laughs> just, just cancel that. Let me catch some chins again, man. Okay. That, that, that does, like, the only reason I say it is because I know that there's such, like, a huge, like, leap at the moment, or at least it feels like it with, like, bots and AI and stuff. And it's like, I know yep. for I know for a fact the Jagex Ooh. don't have their shit under control and they can't talk no. about it because it's just going to expose even bigger weaknesses. But like it does concern me in some ways. It's like damn. Like imagine if they do manage to figure this shit out to a T on like week one. There isn't an AI though for mm, bot PK. Yeah. So basically, there's a misconception with like this bot that's coming around that it was artificial intelligence. It's actually like learning off what you're doing, but it wasn't the case. It was just randomizing. It was it was all randomized. It was all odds of what next attack they're going to do. They have a one in three. We have a one in three. Depends yeah. on what we're actually kind of yeah, like, going off. Bit, right? So it'll go it, off our like I think it was our body. So like if we're wearing an ancestral body or prey mage, things like that. Yeah. So it isn't yeah, actually it's, AI. Uh, it checks your gear. It just yeah, checks your yeah. gear. Yeah. It's, it's not actually yeah. learning off what you're doing. If that makes sense. That's it's just okay. adjusting to what you're doing. Dude, that yeah. opens yeah. up. Well, if, yeah. if, if a bot does do that and they learn how your like play style is and start going from that, then that is fucking mental. It's coming. Is... It's coming, bro. Yeah. Next couple of years, man. They're, 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 yeah, but thankfully it isn't here yet. I, I think it. I thought some 
LMS bots, and it depends which wave you fight, but I think there are some which are better than every PK in the game currently. And the developer just uh, doesn't No, bother. no, you can out. figure them out. If you do an extended fight, it's incorrect. But in the, in the first fight, you are right. For example, you fight a bot. It's like any bot is like fighting the best PK in the game, 10 13, because he can do anything from one tick and making barely any mistakes. That's what I would say. Mm. So it's like fighting him, but easier. If that, if that makes any sense. Because you can figure out what know, their I, pattern is and what they're doing. I'd say I fought some pretty good PKs and it was indistinguishable slash better, honestly. Do you know like, one tick? Like some, some of the, some, some of the bots in LMS have been crazy, it, right? but like. It depends which developer bot you're against. Like some of them, have, you can't learn from a bot. That like I think I'm under the impression that LMS PvP and H like that is completely pr solvable, and like people have solved it. Like, y like you you can just go through a, a human's thought Why is it process solvable? with all the things. Randomized, right? It's... No, no, it, it's 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 solvable in the sense that there's not that many things you can actually do. You can only pray against three things. You can only attack with three things. There's yeah. only the the ticks are very slow, like re, like in terms of a computer, they're very yeah, they're very yeah, okay. they're, they're very very slow. That's a so. that's a so, good distinction. Yeah, that's a good distinction. A good explanation I could do for that is what I've seen with what bots do is they see what you're praying and then the next tick they hit with something different. So it's like you. Practicing in a bloody jazz fight, like yeah, but that 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 would yeah. be a terrible bot though. They should they should randomize their next attack based on based on yeah. the damage out of yeah. the weapons, and then you're fucked. I mean, I'm I'm <laughs> going off the, just... the, the AI bot, the quote unquote AI bot that was going around lately. Oh, yeah, is that the one that can like spin like, and dance yeah, in between the hits and shit? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's that. just propaganda. They're, that, they're that probably like kind of the bot and making it look good or something. Yeah. Well, I wasn't I wasn't even referring to that to be to be fair, but like it leads me. Oh, I thought that's yeah. I, I wasn't even thinking of it, but you've just like jogged my memory there. But speaking of AI, do you think that there will become a time where maybe there will be a bot developed that could potentially be AI? For yeah, yeah I, in I, the far uh, future. I disagree because I don't think there's any need because I don't yeah. think you need to do AI to be better than the PKs. Well, but there was no, I, I just there's no need to do it. that in the first place to make a bot <laughs> yeah. that as good as it is right now. It's not All like right. there's a dead man out every time and they, they're cheating to make money. They're just doing it as like a hobby, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the reason yeah, why they'll do it. I don't want well, to go on like yeah. another. There's a few things right. there, you know, with that stuff. Right. Sure. It's about accessibility too with the technology because I feel like a lot of those people, they don't make it themselves, right? A lot of them would probably just take whatever's available to download or whatever, right? It just yeah. depends on, yeah. you know, like later on in line, how, how, does mach how easy is machine learning for people to just download for themselves and like incorporate right or things like that so yeah. but yeah the incentive overall is not really that that there you're right right you're just I, a lot of these but, people are just doing it for for the hell of it thing is yeah, though, it's not gonna be about happening. incentive soon right and not to go on a tangent hopefully I, i've been telling people this bro ai is coming in every sector yeah every it sucks market. it actually Health, sucks man medical uh markets trading and you know what? It's gonna hit gaming, right? And it's gonna it's already hit thumbnails, it's already hit titles. You got chat AI, you got the ten uh, billion dollar buy, everything, man, emails. It's it's gonna be like the enlightenment period, but instead of people, it's gonna be fucking AI, bro. Yo, honestly take... though, like I feel like we've been in an enlightenment period a while just because the You're internet is wrong. so crazy. Do you know? But right? take a, I don't know, bro. I... It's crazy. We like, gotta have like, an podcast. Boys, I'll go in, bro. Boys, it's fucking we're making wild. videos for a living and we're playing games to make the videos for like we're already like it's already crazy i feel like would that period of time be better than the period where you do all that shit yeah. where you just put all the info to an ai <laughs> you know what I, I mean no i have a passion for us manually doing it ourselves right? but... into an AI, you could put a thumbnail into yeah. an ai dude i'm put... not i'm not overly will... convinced that joel here is human bro i think this man's an uh -huh. ai i think he, <laughs> he was an AI. yeah this he fucking was guy the first, is bro <laughs> it was the the first the 1.0 you know dude i knew i knew something was wrong <laughs> with a guy the first time i met him and he said that he, he cycled from fucking manchester to leicester or some shit i didn't i didn't cycle <laughs> i cycled from the train you take the train as a i was like what was that yeah. that was pvp All -Star. was it pvp all-stars or a dead man mode when we first met do you remember i probably met you for the first time at runefest i think no you it's sat probably you... runefest 2018 maybe well, i remember you sat down with me we were at one of the tournaments and i was like all right mate i was like 
Because at the time you were like an up and comer, you know what I mean, and I don't think you were invited. Humble. Like you just came along. No, that, that you're you're talking about all stars. I just came. I just came to be in the crowd. And yeah. he, I remember I I saw him and I I can't remember if I was sat or if you approached me, but I was like, "How did you get here?" And you were like, "I cycled." <laughs> I, I like, did not say that. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking <laughs> did. You said you came on your <laughs> bike. <laughs> you liar. Yes, I did. I, I don't think this day, is. Yo. I don't we think don't this don't is so much memory, bro. You did. You literally. Two days. You literally said to me, "You said I cycled here," and I looked at you and I fucking like laughed in your face. I was just. I, it just took me. I found it so hilarious because I just maybe I was, you and I was joking. Like, I don't know. I was like, "This is the kind of guy that would cycle here." I can tell. <laughs> Bro, a hundred percent. You said you rode your bike. I promise you did. I think it was Mika invited you as a guest, so I think it might have been yeah. All Stars. No, that was, that was one. one that was that's won. one where, yeah, Manked, Manked won that one. But that was one yeah. where I got locked out of my own car on the way because I locked the keys inside the car and I had to wait four <laughs> hours <laughs> for the door and couldn't save Holy me. So it was four shit. hours. Late. Oh man, that was that one. Nice. Anyways, nice. Yo, um, anyway, let's I'll, move on with the prayers. Yeah, let's move on. Let's yeah, get off the, the tangent one, of AI. Ancient vows for all the last ones. Yeah, we got we right. got utility prayers and ancient Yo, can vows. I, can I read that one or what's up? Can I read that the, the ancient vows one? Because like oh, the, this one's buddy. super new. Dude, if you're excited right, to, to read it, man, you go for it. this shit. Okay. Let it rip. All right. Okay. So these are the new. Oh, Res, this be right back. Yeah, but these are the prayers. Okay. These are the prayers that you won't have seen before in an original proposal. So this one's like going to be hella confusing. Because I only read this once, and I was confused. We mentioned them earlier in the blog, but didn't get much detail. Ancient vows allow you to imbue yourself with one of the ancient elements. You won't be able to activate two vows at the same time. So they're not overheads, but you still cannot have so more than one. So it's something that stays with you, in a way? Well, you like, it's, a, it's a prayer that you put on, like an ultimate strength, but you can't stack them, apparently. Oh. It's worth pointing out that the numbers in here are perhaps low conservative. We're more interested to see how you feel about the concept at first and tweak numbers in line with feedback if any of these make their way to the beta. All right, so we got the first one, the Kuro's Vow. While active, you have 10% chance to heal 10% of damage dealt with any combat style. It's kind of like a Blood Fury, except it's, it's all insane, styles. Bro. It's like Soul Split. I don't oh, know you just have that yeah. on. It's not mm. overhead. It's just on. It's not overhead. We, we don't really yeah. need oh that. Oh my god, bro. I don't yeah. know. Uh, mm. Yeah. Well, it, like, it's like, like it's, it, that that is it, that's in there to um, pander to the people that do actually soul want soul split. split. Right? So yeah. so soul split was a hundred percent chance, but it was twenty percent and then lower to ten percent. I think so. Soul split was crazy. This yeah. is basically on top all. of smiting. <laughs> yeah, soul split also smited too. But this is like blood fury yep. prayer. You know. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah. it's it's all style, so maybe it will be useful in some instances. But I can yeah. only see this. Mm -hmm. You turn in on this if you're really desperate for hit points, because if you yeah. do a thousand damage on average, you'd get ten hit points back. And you could cycle yeah. between yeah, exactly. these two. Yeah, wow. it's one. It's it's essentially yeah. It's ten percent of ten percent, basically, of what you're getting back. So it's not actually that much. But um, yeah, if you have cool. a limited prayer, though, I feel like yeah, I I, I guess if prayer's more of an issue than HP, maybe. Okay, so the next one is Glacy's Vow. Wait, 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 well, hold, up, hold up. What what's the hmm? down what's the downside of that? You, it doesn't you sound like a ram thing. So you the just lose prayer. Use prayer. It's probably gonna consume quite a bit of prayer because you're gonna stack like but, so many things. But you can just on. pray flick, so I don't really that doesn't no, feel I like don't much think of you a can downside. Flick this, no, you can't like, pray flick this book. You can't pray yeah. this You can't book. pray yeah, flick this book, it, really. That's a new thing. That's a new thing. Is it? We should have probably brought that up. No, honestly. no, you, you, oh you can perf like this. I think it's just no, like, not like forever. You can't like spam the forever thing. I heard on this prayer book. I think oh, I think yeah. it's it's up for debate. In the first no, block, they were they were confirmed. like we're 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 considering stopping you from being able to pray flick this book. No, you can still perf flick. You, but you yeah, can la but you can la lazy flick or whatever. But you can't want it flick or something. I, I, I think as of right now. You can, you know, you, you can just assume that you can do it the way you can now, right? You know, which is a one tick or whatever. But I just feel like, yeah, I guess even if you could one tick it, it's 10% of 10%. It's very minimal, minimal, yeah. Right? It's not like, it's not like 10% chance to heal like 50% of what you heal. It's 10% chance to heal 10% of what you hit. So yeah. it's very, very low, actually. So Yeah, save, yeah it's save, like 1% like chance, right? Yeah. 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 Say, save, save you have this. If you have this on and you're doing 10 DPS, which is like pretty good DPS, right? Yeah, that's you hot. Like hit, that's hot. You hit 600 damage in a minute. 
and you're getting one percent of that back so you're getting six hit points back per minute so this is basically useless so yeah this is like it's um, basically like the hard like useless, very like, long term this yeah. is a very long term trip kind of idea if you're i don't yeah. know if you're somewhere for a long time I, it's like not Cracking. that crazy yeah okay yeah maybe yeah like it'd be good for someone that's want to stay somewhere for a very long time because you know short trips it will barely do anything for you uh do you guys have any more on this or we move no, on no no that's fine the Lacey's mm -hmm. Val, so while active, you have 20% chance to deal bonus magic damage. That's pretty high, 20% chance. This bonus damage rolls off of your equipped style against your target's magic defense. Okay, see, this is why it's so confusing when I read it the first time, because I'm like, shit, I have to do math on top of math already for this. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the damage dealt is 10% of your... Okay, see, I, I, can't, it's, I can't process that. It's too confusing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yo, get the oh calculator out, dude. Just break this Rolls down. off your equip style against your magic... Against your target's magic defense. What does that really mean, though? Like, you know? Couldn't tell I'm me. I'm not now. really sure. Yeah. It, but, it's, uh, you... let's, let's, let's just assume it's a, if it's 100% accurate. I mean, that's obviously yeah. not true. But it, yeah. say it's 100% accurate. It's like a 2% mage damage buff. And then you got yeah. 4% from the other prayer, so 6% overall. I mean, that's not really true, but it yeah. kind of is that, that impact. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess the important point is like the damage dealt is 10% of your initial hit, though. So, right. So what, what is your yeah. initial hit normally? Well, so say, 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 if you, say if you barrage a 30, yeah. you've, got a, you've got a 1 in 5 chance of that 30 becoming a 33. Yeah. I, I, I think that's pretty good. Can you use this good. with the other prayers, then? No, yeah, so you can, you can well, well, you can only use one vow at a time. Yeah, one so you vow. Have to choose between these vows, but you can use this with the magic damage thing from before. Yeah, so effectively, you probably get an extra like you know, one like yeah, well, you're sizable. gonna get a flat extra max hit for sure with the uh, other prayer, mm. and then this one, uh, it could be you know, that's because you use the, you use the base hit of thirty, right? So. Yeah, like hitting a three every five five hits on top of that extra one, like pretty much guaranteed from the new prayer. That'd be like two max hits, you know, every hit. So yeah, almost. it's like it's like a it's yeah. like a small extra buff. But I think all these like no, small I, extra buffs. I think this Glazy's vow is pretty good, way better than the cruel one, you know, because you are making magic so strong already. Like imagine mm. shadow. With this thing and and the new prayer, holy shit! You're gonna you, you know you'd be hitting like high 70s now like mid 70s on tasks slayer bossing like 80s yeah. wow well, you have the chance for it just to pop off like you'll max it to just like pop off an extra 10 percent. Yeah, so, yeah it's actually crazy if yeah, you shadow yeah. like a 70 you can hit 77 and yeah dude i'm telling you this shit is actually insane well damn yeah. okay, i, I well, don't i don't know crazy. <laughs> holy shit what about he's like PvP? oh no what about i'm actually kind of panicking to be fair like <laughs> yeah right what about oh, PvP, the numbers bro? are going Holy around shit. my head so much she's unfucking real like i'm just like this is kind of a lot like, well, what, what, what yeah, can you what, what, can, what can you currently barrage in like a uh, max pvp setup for example like a 40 a 40 or something but there isn't any accuracy difference right for this no no just okay, no, so no, no. That's, that's what i was thinking i thought bro my, my brain is fucked i thought there was also accuracy difference with magic damage and i was like damn that would have been a lot yeah. but just because it's max hits, I don't think it's that big. Plus, you have to then change this in your spell book. Wait, is it is the ones for? Um... You could just have this on though. Yeah, you can All right. stack it. So, so is stack the it. is the ones for strength and range? Yeah, you can stack no, it. No, the, no, well, there's there's the there's two more one. to come. Should, should we just move down and then we can yeah, yeah, talk, yeah, we can talk about what you what you choose in certain circumstances? Right, yeah, okay, these two right. are confusing right, yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, Umbra's vow. That's what I'm telling you, man. This is the, that's why I want to read it again because I was like, yeah, I need I need to read this. I read again. it four times. Right. I'm fucking uh, lost. Third bro. one, Umbra's vow. While active, drain your opponent's defense by 10 percent of your damage dealt. So let's say you hit a 30. It's you know then it will drain it by three. Wow. Okay, Umbra's vow respect the same limit as shadow spells, meaning defense cannot be lowered by more than 15 percent of its initial value. So there's a cap to which you can reduce the you know the opponent's defense. This reduction would apply before other defense reduction effects, meaning there's there's still value in using this alongside something like the Dragon Warhammer. This is for like PVM, I'm guessing. This line is more for PVM. Yeah, uh, it's difficult yeah, to spend every make. Uh, no, I don't think this one matters. Defense reduction is extremely valuable in old school these days, while the scepter introduced a means of lowering defense from afar. Yeah, the new accursed scepter does that now. It lowers defense and magic defense with a special. Very cool. 
Many players often feel like it's not worth the special energy required. If you're able to pump the damage out, here's a reliable way of knocking those defense values down. Okay. Yeah, I feel PvP. like this one's kind of like, mm, yeah. In PvP, is a bit mad because you just brew back up, right? Mm, it, and yeah. it's only 15%, which is going to get to a lot like 85 yeah. defense. Like, it's not really big from that. Yeah. Right. This could be good at Kefri or something, you know? Yeah, I think it's more PVM, right? Yeah, I, I could use this at Kefri for sure. Because, like, oh, God. The you chance use of... this, lower it by 15%, and then use the different Yeah, players. Yeah, because think about it this way. The chance of using a Bandos God Sword to lower that boss down is, at higher levels, especially, is super low. It's like 20%, 30%. So this is, like, guarantee, you know, you poke, 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 and then, boom, it's down 15%. Okay, we can talk more about this later, I guess. And the, finally, there's this... Oh, my God. Why did they write so much for this? Okay, Vumas... <laughs> Vumas says vow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, All right, man. this is the last one, boys. While this active, ridiculous. yeah. While active, attack consumes ten percent of your poison severity to deal the same amount as bonus poison damage to an enemy. So you're taking more poison damage to to hit your opponent back with more more poison damage. That's, I think that's what's saying. This one's a little confusing. Holy shit! You mean like no, no? That's that's an understatement. And perhaps best illustrated by example. Plus, a look at how poison actually works in old school. Uh, we'll use our chemical hydrous poison pool, for example. When you're inflicted with poison, while it might look like a number that just says you are about to take this much damage, there is a little more going on under the hood. The alchemical hydrous poison pool will inflict you with a poison severity of 30. Every time poison damage takes, the damage you take is equal to poison severity plus 4, all divided by 5. So it's 34 divided by 5. You How take some damage. Calculator? You take some damage, and your well, poison severity increases by one. Rinse and repeat. In this example, the poison that these pools inflict, you will deal six damage, since 30 plus 40 is 34, divided by five, which gives 6.8, round down to six. Like when Fumas is found activated, class. your next <laughs> when Fumas is found activated, your next attack, after being inflicted with this poison, will deal three additional damage, and reduces your poison severity to 27. Ultimately, what we're driving at is perhaps being poisoned isn't all bad. Along with Vumus' foul, you can remove some of the poison more quickly while converting it into some additional damage output. Perhaps this one's a bit more unusual than the others. Let us know. That sounds really interesting, though. Like, so, yeah, so you're poisoned, really you do more damage, it, pretty much. Yeah, you get more DPS if you're poisoned. Yeah. So the best way to rush would be poison with this on. <laughs> Vindictus. Like so you're... Bro, oh, what the fuck's the Mexican? I can't, can't wait, for, I can't wait for you, you to be rushing that you just died to poison. Yeah, I, 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 feel, I feel like... I feel like this isn't going to be a, a thing in PvP because a player doesn't I'm have... I'm going to make it a, a thing, bro. It, it does, it does, it, no, 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 but as in a player doesn't have a poison severity value attached to them, whereas a monster does. So yeah. I, I think this is PvM only. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Oh, so you can't use this against people? I mean, uh, unless unless you got poisoned by a monster, I think. Yeah, I would run me. into like. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know if that would work. Though. I'm, I'm not sure if that would work. Or just venom. Yeah, get venoms. Well, I don't know. if Venom would work. Is venom? Uh, is venom poison? Yeah, yeah. It's poison severity, 100. percent It's just on roids, you know. So me, yeah. Rapsy, so... Deep Wild, poisoned, 10 HP, <laughs> barely alive, <laughs> looking for anyone nearby, and we probably just died <laughs> like a spider. It, it's but... like, no, no, bro. What see. would happen is you run up to the guy before you hit the poison, kills you. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> pretty you know, much. Instant and it knocks you into viscosity or whatever the fuck, and you just go 140. <laughs> you just so now I, I instantly uh, see this and I just think about like speed running Zora. It's like uh, you yeah. could definitely use this to your advantage <laughs> yeah. to shave off time, but yeah, I'd be good at Zora, I imagine. I, yeah. yeah, but the problem is you yeah. deal the same amount of poison damage, so that's can Zora be poisoned? I don't know. Um, well, I, don't, I don't think it's saying I, that. I think it just. I don't think, it, I don't think it's poison hit. damage. I think it's just general. It's just, it's just general damage. damage. I, yeah, yeah. I think it's just. Oh, with right. Your okay. Yeah. okay. So, so it's like okay, you, that, you, you use the damage yeah, calculation says... of their poison to then in turn do yeah, more damage. Yeah. So it says. Does it you... affect the DDS? Like, do both okay. hits get damage? Okay. Think about this way. I got. I think I understand what it's saying, right? <laughs> I fucking know, dude. Makes on a different level, dude. I understand what it's saying, right? I think, bro. I think I. I think I get it better now. So. You know how like when you're poisoned, it's like what every certain amount of time the poison takes, right? yeah, and, then yeah. still, and then it gets less and less. Yep. But with this per activated, every single time you attack, the poison take counter goes down faster, right? And then it tr trades that damage that you would take into a into damage to something else, 
right? So, so like it would it would go down really fast. Like your the poison that you have would go down really quick because you're attacking so fast. Yeah. Right? So you, then they'll take more damage from that. Yeah, yeah and then and your po and then your poison damage will go down faster. Yeah, the will be real dangerous in this situation. Would be three damage. Yeah. Which is. Imagine there's a group really. of people in black salamanders, okay, with 10 HP, poisoned, and they're just hitting <laughs> you for like 35s. Every, yeah. every salamander hit, and you don't know what they're doing to you because they could just switch. You're dead. <laughs> You're yeah, dead. so, so this cool. will burn. Basically, like, poison is like a commodity for extra damage, but it'll burn away really quick because every, like, every poke you do, it's probably like 2.4 seconds, right? So, like, every, like, in 10 seconds, your poison uh, damage you take, it's going to be so low already, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. It's, you yeah. already I used actually, it all up, basically. I actually really like this. I, I think that's a really interesting and unique mechanic. I feel like this stinks of mod ash. But this man's got his calculator out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't think, 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 think these, because, be because this could change the meta. It'd be like, okay, so you basically never need to worry about being poisoned now because we're just going <laughs> to use this prayer to not only cure it, but also deal more damage in the process. And that's like it's a bit, really it's a bit too confusing for the average player. If we're oh, confused, confusing. Confusing. Much, they should have rewritten it. <laughs> They're probably like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> equals more damage, and then they go and explain it. Because fuck, man, yeah. I didn't mean, have Rice come explain it to me I like I was in a college to be, class. To be honest, to be honest, I'm still confused because we don't know what poison severity like base is. You know, like mm. if someone DDSs you and and poisons you, how much is that? You know, like how much are you actually hitting? You know what I mean? How much actually? I, I don't think that? players. I don't think players have a poison severity though. That's the story. Yeah. So how well, I mean, that you, no, no, wait, wait. Surely the, the amount of damage you would take if you didn't use an anti-poison, like in total, is that what yeah. it means? Let's let's do some. So it's sure the so, player does have. I'm not a, even. So, I'm yeah. not even sure it is. I'm not even sure it does mean that. To be honest, I think it's just yeah. poison severity is some arbitrary thing, and then from that you can calculate the poison. Oh, that yeah, you've yeah. never heard about before, and it's just exactly. Uh, back it's like a yeah. it's like a hidden stat that okay, we don't even know about, which is why I'm saying like we don't actually quite yeah. know because we don't know what if what monsters or whatever have what severity of poison you know yeah so like, so you, divide, you yeah. divide by five so say scorpio for example so scorpio hits you 20 poison right um so assume, if you if you yeah. if you work it if you work it backwards, backwards you'd have yeah. to times by five yeah. and then you'd have to add, add four so it'll be like 104 yeah. or something yeah. for scorpio yeah is that right i want to know what the max AGS specs or 96 is. no yeah it'd be like it'll there. be 96 reese yeah. what's the what's the max of an ags bro like a max that's confusing. Oh, I actually can't remember. It's like, it's, like eight, eight, yeah. it's like 87, isn't it? Yeah, 87. Okay, 87. Yeah. Solo, Six. bring out your calc real quick. All right, 87. All right. Let's see. it by 0.7%, right, for the 7% boost. And then we're going to add 10% <laughs> on top of that for, from the velocity or whatever. Like. <laughs> and then add like three damage with Venom. And that's going to be the max AGS you can hit on someone. What is it going to be like a 102 or something? Could you imagine like, just 100? Just yeah. gone. Yeah. I mean, that would have been good. I'm not only good with this you... habit, but I'm confused out my fucking mind. So, <laughs> yeah, you probably, you, say if you can hit an 87, and then with the Annihilate Prayer, that's 7% more strength. That's probably like turning a into, a, into a 91 or something. Mm, yeah, 90, And then the yeah. Vindication is 10% more damage, so that would be 101. That 7% yeah. is 6 more 100. damage. Yeah, you could hit 100 AGS, but you have yeah, to use your Vindication. Probably. So, 87 plus 6. Assuming ninety three, ten percent of that creep. is nine, yeah. right? Plus nine. So we're looking yeah, at one or two damage. Thirty percent power like, creep in total. Like it's, well, it's with so, indication though. That's, so it, yeah, it would yeah. depend. It, it would dangerous. depend. It would depend on what the ten percent is calculating off of. Is it like the total before max, or is it just like the base max or something? You know. No, I think I think it's. it's lower. I think it's just ten percent damage, like. After, I mean, uh, I, I get I interpret vindication as is applied after. after everything. Now it's mm -hmm. gonna be funnier. So yeah, seventy two damage it could be like a ninety. I mean, either way, you're gonna one shot someone. You know, so the odds. In, in my plus. gear set, in Mystics, really shitty D boot, seventy two damage AGS. All right, so we're gonna add yeah. seven on top of that with the, the ten percent. Right, it's at seventy nine already. You hit like an eighty, bro. I, I don't think it was you're hitting eighty fours. Maybe yeah, you're hitting about eighty right. fours. Yeah. Base damage AGS. Oh, it's it's crazy. Oh, I mean, it's, it's risk versus reward, right? It's, oh, it's yeah. Cool. I'm gonna buy like a 20 stack AGSs for day one. I'll be donating them pretty much deep wild. But yeah, 
Mm. Right, so boys, right, well, we out, have out all of these, these four. Out of these so. four, which one do you guys like the most? Which one would you guys vote for? We'll start with you, Solo. Well, we're, we're, like, we're voting yes to all of them, but you can only use one at a time. Yeah. Oh, wait, so I'm I, talking I, about I, adding I, all four? Yeah, you, yeah. You add, they're going to add all four, but then you can only yeah, have one. Yeah, they're all different, yeah. It's just how you can only have one overhead active at a time. I got you, I got you. Yeah. So, say if you're maging something, you have to choose. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose Places the extra wow, damage? It? Huh. Or, you can, or if it's got higher mage defense, maybe you choose the one which drains its, the, a boss's mage defense. I don't even know. Mm. Who knows? Um, yeah, I feel like these are incredibly niche, right? Like, well, yeah. minus the Glacies Val. I feel like that one's not that niche. Akurus yeah, and Glacies are yeah. like, I feel like they're very splashable. Truly. Yeah. Yeah, this type like of stuff would be cool for PvP, but yeah. the bottom one's way too confusing. Yeah, Glacies Val definitely Fumis. good. Yeah. But the top one is, is minimal, but like, you, the Free. thing isn't a spell, but you do have to have, well, you don't really have to, but. It is good to have certain things that aren't that strong that you can also use if you really want to. Have like a, a couple more vows, honestly. Like let's add like four or five more, and then you just switch them out. Like what, like one that lowers or accuracy yeah. every time you lower your HP. Or just for like everything that I just than the these ones. Yeah. And like, I mean, I think the I think the whole point is not that them. strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get, I get where they go. Like, we don't, it's, it's we don't more strong shit on this book. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I feel like the vows may not even be necessary, dude. I honestly, I mean, like, they just had a blog, right? They just, they just flung it out this blog. Yeah, I think it's nice. Yeah. I think it's nice just to fill out. The yeah, book, to I can see where they're going yeah. with it. It's not that like strong. It's, it's like niche. Um, I'm, I just. I think feel I like... don't think they understand it. Them like sometimes yeah. I don't think they understand what they're trying to make us understand. If that makes sense. Yeah. No. I feel like, like they're. I, I feel like I'm a well-rounded player in this game, and I have no fucking clue what they mean with the bottom. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually so but, lost. That, that, that's only because they're talking the about one. they're they're talking about like a damage roll that we don't really encounter yeah, or do anything yeah, with. Right. Yeah. So so I kind of like it the most just based off of that because it's like okay that could open like a whole new page on ways to kill monsters and pvm in general so i think like in terms of like interestingness like it's pretty cool and unique but i get it like most people are going to be like the what like it doesn't make sense the, yeah. only, the only reason i can even slightly interpret this is because i've played recently fucking tabletop games where that you have to roll like 10 dice at a time and try to figure out damage or uh, it's warhammer 40k boys just look it up it's amazing it's a whole yeah. different world. I mean, it's it's interesting, yeah. but the thing is, it it doesn't it doesn't sound strong, which is why I'd vote yes to it. If it yeah. sounded strong, and didn't have a didn't well don't have a clue about it, then I would say no. But yeah, I, my only concern is like, okay, you know, it's like from a bouncing standpoint, it's like there's so there. I mean, even without the vows, you know, the damage increase is already so so significant. You know, right? You have like yeah. two to three sources that you can stack damage. On top of whatever we, you know, on, on our existing stuff. Do you, do you know what I think so... they should do? And I think this is to add on to what Reese has just said. I think a really good mm. way for them to poll this and to make people fully understand this is when they get it down to like the prayers that people are happy with is to have like a visual representation of how and when this prayer could be used in a PvP slash PVM scenario. So yeah. it's like actually have like a detailed breakdown for players to look at because you're right. It's like at this point, like, fuck, man, I don't even feel like I'm qualified enough to be throwing my vote in for this. But I am because obviously it's just for the beta. But when it actually comes time, it's like, firstly, a lot of this stuff might not even be fully tested in the beta unless an example's given of like how it's supposed to be used. And then people yeah, can kind of go is, from we, there. With beta testing as well, you need the, the right people who tell you the right information. Because, like, who who do they, like, actually listen to, for example, PvP stuff? Like, how do they know what they're saying is the correct thing or if this is actually a bug or in intended? Is It's so confusing for them, and it, they've actually got a hard job to do, to be fair. Yeah, I feel like the the feedback that they got for this revision was pretty decent because, you know, they uh, it looks way better than the original proposal overall. I just feel like the vows are just like, okay, this is, like, something completely new, and nobody's given the feedback on that one yet, so... May, you yeah, know, I mean, I like it from a yeah, yeah. Sorry, from a PvP perspective, like for example, if you're in Tribrid, you're just basically just fling on the uh, Glacier's Vow one, and then yep. potentially in Venge, you'll use the top one as well. But 
it won't be too too big where it actually means too much it's like yeah. what, three max hits which is it, it is sizable but when you think about like all the weapons that come into the games like both and all these type of things it isn't actually that bad because mm. mage is so undervalued now so yeah they sure. can't one shot you in pvp i guess <laughs> yeah there like are, others can there are some utility ones here left do you want to cover these or should we just leave it there Cause... i don't think they're they actually like um um so I, I can quickly run through what they are because yeah, they're, they're just equi- they're they're, equi- yeah. they're equivalents of what we have already so yeah um well ruinous grace we don't have that that is you you're draining prayer points instead of run energy so say if you're out of mm-hmm. stamina in a situation at the end of zuck and you're like you can chuck on this prayer and you can run a bit um I which is cool. yeah I, I think it's fairly cool it yeah, might change the measure of a few yeah. bits of content and like gives you a decision to make and supplier management that sort of thing um then there's smite which is sounds pretty crazy while active reduce both yours and your opponent's prayer points by 33 percent of your damage dealt so you're smiting yourself and your opponent at the same that time that is actually extremely cool i like that for people yeah it's a good trade-off so, yeah. you do which that is, multi yeah, 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 really well, yeah. Oh, please no bro this is <laughs> dead and you don't even need it, 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 sound, it sounds it sounds really like it's a for yourself because it is it, yeah. it definitely is but oh, that's it's, probably, it's, it's it is probably going to be horrible to use though as well yeah yeah as well yeah i think the whole idea is like oh because you're getting so much more damage now and you want to free smite someone no 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 we can't make that too we can't make it that easy yeah you, you don't want to make know? it too you gotta smite yourself kind of crazy i do actually. like things in pvp that take away your prayer points as well like yeah. i just hope damage. it's not in multi but you know solo would know at venonatus with the web Imagine. And then somehow he's a zero prayer as well. <laughs> you, you do yeah, it at that's... the beginning too, right? You don't even wait till the end because then 33 prayer and then <laughs> Oh my gosh. You can yeah. Yeah. I, I think I think a thing with this whole prayer book is True. I'm anticipating that the prayer drain is gonna be quite a bit if you've got like all these things turned on. Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's, it's I, the I, negatives like well the positives outweigh the negatives, right? That's the whole idea. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no defense, you get you get your prayer gets fucking slashed. Dude, I'm yeah, not... the prayer point yeah. the prayer point management on this book is going to be difficult. Yeah, also, I think. No especially, especially if you're using no smite thing. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you gotta chug and restore every hit. I've basically. not seen I've not even seen anything <laughs> about protecting items on this. Is that just... no? There is no there is no protect item on this anymore. I completely forgot about that. So, that's yeah, actually that, a good yeah. point. So PvP, that's point? a PvP. That's actually bounce. a really good point. What, what's the point in smiting in that case? Oh, I guess against people in regular prayer book. I guess. Yeah. 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 And, and and also someone has no prayers on. Like, I don't know, you just free. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they it's, can't eat because they yeah, have to have drink. I mean, it's a, it doesn't, it's it doesn't really matter too much except from the fact that you the forty percent because of the defense again, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. even if you do smite someone a spell book and they're on the same spell book, I, I, people wouldn't do it, I don't think. Dude, I don't know about that for PvP. I feel like that's a Ragnar's paradise that um that's the same, bro. Yeah. Dangerous. Like, like yeah. you're just gonna go out there with nothing to risk. You're not gonna take a plus one and this just gonna be, be fucking ragged, crazy. trying to get their plus one. I think that's what makes it balanced in PvP, but then, though. But then, what, what are they gonna kill so. you with? The fucking fists or something yeah. like? Yeah. <laughs> they, need, they need some. Well, they need like use, an AGS or still, like some risk. That, that's, that's, that is good though. Or something. Yeah. And then they can't protect yeah. it. Yeah. I was before yeah. they changed the blog. There was a thing they were trying to add where it said you could protect two items, and I was reading that on stream like, what the. <laughs> really yeah, better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, protect nothing. I like that, bro. Well, I was... the, yeah. the oh, idea man. behind that was you could protect two items, but you would be getting fucked up. Like you'd be smiting yourself by turning that prayer on as yeah. well, and then people could smite you on top of that. So the chances of getting smited for those two items is were pretty massive, high. Man. That actually sounds really cool. I prefer that to this. Well, I, I think I think this is better because you know you're getting because like I feel like. Isn't PvP at a point where you're you're just already hitting so hard that like if you just easily can hit harder without any additional risk, you're just gonna like instantly one yeah, two it, tap someone more, you know? Yeah. Right? So, I can't believe you. I like, like the fact nice that there's no there. there's no protect time. Why well, really, didn't we really say do, that at the start? That, it's a big that, trade-off, right? Dude, that yeah, changes it's a really good trade-off. Everything. PvP yeah. is. That, more definitely more stable with that. That changes yeah. this entire blog in my mind. If you can't protect item, because like. Only mad people are going to be ris- risking like. That's why I said I'm gonna buy example. a twenty stack of AGSs and I'm be done like <laughs> Santa Claus day one. I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna fair, do I don't, it. I don't forget about that. Like, forget about protect time. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's huge. A hu- that that's makes a huge a difference. Thing, yeah. That makes a huge difference to this. Huge, huge. Yeah. 
Void Waker rushing bounty hunter is going to be on another level. You anti PK someone for yeah, everything yeah, they have. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like the ultimate yeah. risk versus reward. Yeah, I like this. Dude, like, dude, it's cool. Think about it. If you want that extra like five, ten extra damage or whatever, mm -hmm. you have to risk an extra few hundred mil, probably. You know? Yeah. Or like. Something yeah, like, like an AGS. AGS is the thing is, you have like accuracy mil. boost as well, so AGS seems more reasonable. I feel like AGS yeah. is going to go up a bit because yeah, yeah. For you sure. know it already has actually gone up max, quite. Yeah, yeah, they want to maximize that. I'll get in to buy a couple because I don't like the way you guys are talking about. Yeah, because yeah, like, fuck, fuck the dragon bows. Let's get an AGS. Let's yeah, go. Let's buy it, like, you, I'm you know, buying Voy some Waker? things real quick. Yeah, I'm very poor. With Void Waker, guarantee lose it if you die. You know, wait. Like, yeah, so it's yeah, yeah. yeah. That's actually not that many people that's will use that. Lose it if you die. Unless, unless you're like you oh. know, like Reese here and you're PKing and Max all day, like you're not really gonna be bothered. But most people. Yeah, Reese, how big is that bank, dude? Like uh, nearly 20. 20 bills. Damn, bro. Uh, oh, that's, a, that's another five bill in the giveaway, boys. Let's <laughs> go. <Yeah, cool. Adam. laughs> it's the richest guy here. <laughs> <laughs> my god. Right, so, so there are right, really a lot more when you can't protect Titan anymore. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Every day, jealous. Like, well, he can burn through so much money having fun because that's the only reason that yeah. money, right? To burn it yeah, in PvP. Well. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. all I use it for now. He's content. Yeah. What kind of yeah. sick bastard just I uses mean, it for PvM? I don't he's, know. He's yeah, just right. gotten so good that he makes too much money. <laughs> God damn. I mean, I think the game's I mean, gonna my favor to be fair with like single plus and all these mental items like Void Wake and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, that's crazy. So, I mean, so are you guys? So, do you guys reckon it's good that there's no protect item on this? I box think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't really. I, I, I'm because yeah. I'm unsure. I'm unsure about that. One I think my my perspective is I'm like I'm trying not to be biased, but I can only think of good things because of the the trade off that you're gonna have yeah. by having extra power. But maybe that's just me thinking. Oh, I've got to PK with more money. Honestly, you know I mean? from a PVMers perspective, I think it's super freaking balanced because. You know, like, I, if I'm going to anti-PK someone, right, and the dude's got curses, and he's, like, hitting, like, extra 10, 5, five 10 damage on me all the time, that's going to fucking suck to, like, actually have a more, you know, it, it just wouldn't even be a fair play anymore. But because they can't protect the item, they can't really bring that extra, you know, overpowered item with them. Yeah, right? and, it's it, and if unlikely. they do... It's very yeah. unlikely. Right? If they yeah. do, then you've got Vengeance, you've got these... Um extra damage on that like what's that uh prayer that you deal 50 percent extra damage back to them you got all these mm. things to anti-pk them when you're unschooled mm. so these pks are attacking you even if they're risking like mystics they're not going to really pk many people well many people aren't going to pk with a dds are they they're going to have like an ags yeah. plus yeah so when you're anti-pk you, you can prayer, make, you make big money on this spell book yeah by with being prayers with a DDS yeah. and a Vernic, you might you honestly might with the yeah, yeah. Too. maybe in a Vernic as well. Could be yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, I'm 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 trying to think of the average PK. So the average PK in the wilderness is someone we'll that sc <laughs> schools up. They have a plus one, and the rest of their gear is like maybe one or two mil. Like pure with yeah. a staff or an AGS. And then, so the thing is about that average PK is that they they can use the normal spell book. They they get to choose they now, and I think yeah. that, that yeah. there's yeah. some priority there. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it maybe it's all right. Then. And they, they get yeah, protect yeah. item. They get this extra defense from augury. The get the, yeah. all these other things that are probably less confusing for them as well yeah mm. I, I honestly think it's really just i think it's just really balanced because right isn't pvp like you know more of a, a like a very fragile ecosystem right like you can't just introduce 510 max hits without incurring some sort of significant cost yeah in yeah exactly. so you know yeah, right so i feel like and, and and from a pvm point of view i feel like it, it makes sense to to do it that way yeah, so, it's, it's, like, it's crazy. It's crazy because people are going to die a lot more with uh, yeah. <laughs> the extra money. Yeah, it's like when Void Waker came yeah. into the game, it's just such a yeah. massive item and more yeah. people died and that made it... Yeah, it, that shit It made sucks, it good too, and man. bad because I think there's going to be less PKs in the long run because they're scared of certain items. Yeah, true. But, yeah, yeah, Void Waker is stupid. Yeah, yeah, I think what, what happened is yeah, yeah. Every, every everyone like increased their well not everyone but like the general trend is that a lot of people really increased their risk when single single plus came out. Yeah, and then that, that, now now yeah. it's getting more dangerous. People yeah. are like yeah, they're going the opposite they, way. They, yeah. Maybe can be yeah. a bit dissolution, but I think it's just time yeah. if you, if you can't can't cope with it, just decrease the risk of it again. Like, yeah, exactly. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You, you That's are interesting. right. As soon as single plus came out, the average set was like a thirty mil set, I'll mm. guess. Like a, a decent mediocre PK I would use because of how simple it was to escape, especially after the uh, the PJ timer changed. 
But as soon as like Void Waker came out, you'll see more people in Void setups because that's like cheaper and more damage. You know what I mean? Where it'll yeah. be like a twenty mil risk instead of you know thirty mil plus. Hmm. Even though like yeah, good, good PKs. And then of course, if you're anti PKing, it's not even Void. gonna affect you because you don't even need to protect item. Yeah, yeah, when you, exactly. you got three items with text, you're gonna be fucking making bank with all these. So there things. should yeah, be good. no that, excuses. Yeah, for help. but if, yeah, if someone's there doing doing, doing scold revs, getting the thirty three percent smited, oh. uh, <laughs> I can see people doing that like Jeez, just to me, bro. Just yeah. Like that, yeah. <laughs> mm. Right. Should we just go through the rest of the utility ones? Yeah, sure. So we just we just talked about protect item, which isn't on the book. We were yeah. talking about smite. So wrath is. That that was pre OC. Next has that it, when it dies, it's five yeah. by t- five by five retribution. Yeah, Nothing too crazy. Too. Yeah. Um, re- rejuvenation is essentially just rapid heal, um, but it's three times as good. So that's mm-hmm. made made it to the book as well. It's just like a filler prayer, isn't it? Really, yeah, really yeah. Use that yeah. too much. And then yeah. the last the last one here is really weird. <laughs> it's metabolize, which reduces action delay in brackets, not eat delay by 0.6 seconds after eating. Similar to preserve, it has to be active for a length of time before taking effect. After this time, de- deactivating metabolize will reset your action delay, your weapons. Okay, that's not too important, I think, for the context we're talking about. So when this first eat, came out, actually, yeah. for me, uh, continue. I, I think it, I think it's I think it's good to be honest for PvP. People thought when it first came out, it will make like you attack quicker with an with items, basically. But it, instead, it's just no. like when you eat an anglefish. Instead of three ticks, it'll be two ticks. Or like yeah, a, but what, what conf- I don't I don't know if you have ticks. I don't know if you have clarification on this, but I wasn't sure if this means that when you're NHing, for example, you can drink brews two ticks apart. No. I think right. I saw open I, I, I saw Ben um mildly, sorry, put it in like the mm-hmm. one of the Discords or what it's called, what's it called? PvP feedback Discord. And he yeah. said it is just hard and so it's, it's just hard food. It's just hard food. Right? So, 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 so basically so, you take venge can you, you you'll be yeah, able to okay. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't change You're too much. Anglofish it's just good for venge um, Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, actually, uh, to, to talk about some of the new ones, like the one where you gain 3x HP, that's pretty good for some bosses, like Hydra. You get a lot of prayer back, so you just put that bitch on, and, you know, you're good. <laughs> you're yeah, good. especially and, um, if, if yeah. that stacks on a region base as well. Like, what is yeah. that? 6x oh. maybe? You, you, you yeah, if they, you, yeah, the if they allow you. Yeah. Get the max cape on. Like, in boys. <laughs> Leaks one again. Uh, in PVM, I don't think it's that useful in PVM. Maybe metabolize. Like you, it's, it's not often that you're really eating hard food. I guess. I guess uh, it's like Angler, somewhat Angler, useful, uh, but not massive. I will use it at Corp. It's gonna be yeah. fucking cracked at Corp. Oh yeah, when but, you're using um, like sharks or yeah, yeah, you know, use Cambrons right now because the cooldown is you know makes it's gonna it significantly be only better. Only one tick, right? I think Yo, it'll be a one tick it's cooldown. Be which... Correct. Yeah, yeah. metabolize yeah, really is good. literally gonna change Corp. Like, I, I think I'm probably going to get, like, you know, an extra kill to an hour with just because of that. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, I really like this spell book in, in total. Um, like, even I, if you're all these add-ons we're getting, but then the, the negative effect is actually pretty good. Yeah, I think Metabolite is actually pretty good for, for quite a few PVM. Because, like, there's, uh, especially from Iron Man point of view, like, a lot of times you will be doing bosses with hard food. Like, even at Nex, you still bring hard food. So, yeah. It, mm. it's it will actually make quite a bit of a difference, yeah. So, yeah, like, I, I, you know, I feel like I want to give my overall take now that we we've gone through all of it. I feel like we don't need the vows because, like, you have all you have all these utility prayers. Some of them are actually pretty useful, you know. And you also have two to two different ways to gain DPS, right? Already, so I it's mm-hmm. like, why do you even need the vow stuff, right? And it's super complicated, right? Like half of that shit, I I can barely even understand fully, so. I don't know. I feel I, like I don't, we I don't think, need the vows that much. I think so. What happened is the vows weren't there. People complained that there weren't enough interesting choices and decisions on the prayer book, they're, and they're, so they, they got that's they got a hard take. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's that's definitely a interesting. To say, like, but... it may be a bit too too interesting. Yeah, no, I mean, like you telling me, you're telling me that w- without the vows, there, there's not enough interesting prayers. No, like, I, 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 that's not that's I'm not my not, opinion. No, no, I'm not saying that's the opinion of the people. Yeah, yeah, I'm responding to the the people that are saying that. Oh right, yeah. I'm like you, you, you guys like you know not so mission, but like I'm like seriously, like that's that's yeah, it's not interesting enough already. Like the feedback, the feed, yeah, the the feedback on. 
on these prayers. Been, like, I, I've like read quite a lot of it. It's been it's been super mixed. A lot of people being yeah. like that. It's not it's not powerful enough. I don't think they really understood where yeah. the current prayers are in comparison yeah, to this. Let's just count the prayers minus the vows. How much? Is, how many is that? Because I feel like that's already a lot, right? And a lot of them have, makes you play the game so differently. Like, hmm. I feel yeah, it's like crazy. Like, how, do you need any more? Honestly, yeah, I, I think, it, like, to be honest with you, I kind of like I kind of like the vows though. I don't know. I, yeah, like, I think yeah, I, 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 I'm ha I'm happy just with having these ones, which are kind of useless. You don't really use them too much, but it's filling it out. Yeah, I think it balances out mage a bit more in PvP as well. The Glacies vow because uh, range and melee, especially Kaom right now, is is so good. Yeah, and then something like this might bring bring people to bring like a volatile more, even though Void Wake is that strong, but like. But yeah, then again, you have just, to risk it. I think from a PVM point of view, I feel like the vows are just like, like no need. Like you are, it's already so cracked. You know the 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 new prayer book. Oh is yeah, I so mean, cracked without it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I agree. Without... The overall, but, but is, it added, is it actually adding incredible. that much? It, it is. Damage. Yeah, like the shadow, like with that stuff added together. Will yeah, be the shadow. Yeah, you are right. I was oh just thinking about God. things in mage. In, you think like, items are gonna go I'm up? Like, Slayer <laughs> rates are gonna Slayer rates are gonna be through the extra and crack too. You know? Because, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Barraging. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just crazy. It's yeah. just going to be insane. I think they should go back to right. one board on the vowels and just yeah, come up honestly, with something totally like different. Don't I, I don't think I just... these have gone down great, and they're very difficult to really, like, read between the lines as well. Yeah, honestly, but would you, to be but fair. But by, by back to the drawing board, do you mean scrap them or make them so they're more impactful in the game? No, no, no. Oh, it's well, I mean, impactful. I, I feel like they're I mean, they're firstly, they're, they've got this one, right? The one that rolls off of, like, damage uh, of poison. But it's like a counter that we've never seen before. So it's kind of like we're cool. we're talking we're talking about something that could potentially open up future content. But at the same time, like nobody's gonna get this. Nobody's gonna look at this and be like, "Oh, it's useful for that." You it's want something like, interesting that, but people can under, also understand, which we can relatively understand it, but not really. In, you know, yeah. I, can. I kind of I think they like should the scrap them. Yes, I needed. think I think I they should go for something that, yeah. completely different. I'll be totally honest. I think. Yeah, they should scrap it. I think that they should. I mean, I, I would just vote yes even it. without the vows, straight up. You know, like I literally don't need the vows, honestly. Yeah, I, I mean, my, I my, posi I my position is the the book yeah. is already very strong, so I'm exactly. happy to have relatively yeah. weak vows yeah. as there rather than making them also crazy. I mean, put it, <laughs> to, to put it simply, everything up until here, I'm really happy with. So it's like. That for me is just like the red flag. Oh, would like, you say you're unhappy thing. with the vows? So I don't. I, I think they're just there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're just. Yeah, but that, the, that's yeah, what's, 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 what's bad about them. What's what's that? Yeah, there's no, not, not too strong. Yeah, the not bad. Like, like, it, I mean, they're just a bit confusing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not. It's yeah. not even just that. It's just like I can see a very clear like I can see like clear examples of where I've used the other prayers. And then this one, not so much. So maybe I don't know. Maybe they could just let it into the beta, and we can test it out and see if there's. What any do you mean? What do you what, what do you mean? You wouldn't know, wouldn't like when you're maging something. Glacy's bow. It's right there. It's more mage damage. Yeah, but my point is, is like, I get what Umbra's it does. bow is like. Yeah, it's defense reduction. I, I get, like, I why get would you? Why does. would you turn on Piety? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But but I mean? it's kind of. I feel like something else could be here instead yeah. of this. Like that's my point. I just feel like there well, could be right, yeah, something. Okay, more, okay. You want something more interesting then, essentially. Yeah, Pretty I won't say something yeah. more. I won't say something strong. More more interesting. I mean, yeah. I think yeah, that's uh, where you're trying to get at. Yeah, right? I don't think you want more strong. I'm not. I'm not that interested. The is already there. I yeah. think I think this one's interesting, but I just don't think that most people are gonna agree because they're gonna be like, "What the fuck is damage counter?" <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? So like, yeah. this is just gonna confuse people. And I just feel like we should be a bit more conservative because we've already yeah increased yeah. our DPS so hard recently with tombs and and you know like all that other stuff. It's like, like okay, like the 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 whole utility stuff. I feel like is already the cool weird things that you know is right that that's there already or like what's what's up with the vows you don't even need that why not save that kind of stuff for a future update where you know where we need a bit more yeah. juice you know because like we, dude with without it this yeah her book is already me. so crazy you know it's already so crazy like there's no surprised. need to bring more <laughs> out like Save some of that juice for later, man. Because we, we need updates right in the future. You know, like paste I'm, that shit, yeah. please. They they could add. Like, I can see I can see that point of why not to add it. Yeah. 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 Like if you know, I I feel like save that. You know, save that the vowel stuff for another day because we are 
we are fed already. We're so fed recently that like it's just the DPS is already nutty as it is. They, so. Also, the vows don't really have any like negative. Like they yeah, all they just don't. Add something. They don't really. I mean, no, they're no, like no, 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 no. well, they they, they 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 drain prayer though, and they're minimal, yeah. so it might not even be worth turning them on in certain circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, I feel like the measure measure one though for PVM is yeah, for like risk for sure. Off vows like to even like more hardcore like say vows yeah. like the hardcore version of these prayers. I, I don't have an example off the top of my head yeah. because it's like these are already so powerful. Do, but right, so I personally this, I'm against vows. I, I, personally, I like, I'm against it. I feel like I do have like a bit of a bias, and that bias is that these remind me of the leech prayers on the the old curses, right? So like you had like a bunch of leech prayers, uh, and like I'm coming from a PvP kind of thought process here where it's like. If you use those prayers, people would just be like, yo, turn that shit off. Like, I don't want to deal with, like, my special energy going or, like, my run. And I know it's different, but it's kind of like, I'm kind of viewing it in that same kind of light. So you've had a bad experience previously, but it's it's nothing like that, is it? No, I don't think just, so, no. It, it's just I like, just like, like I, I know, I can get where you're coming from, it, it, but, like... It's, it's, it's like, it does very little, yeah. and I just feel like it could be something different. Like, it's... It, the other stuff yeah i can, I can see what I you mean it. by it different for different i wouldn't say you should you should look at like previous things from like rs3 and be like we don't want this added even though it's completely different you know what i mean well yeah i know that's why i said that that's yeah I, 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 like, like yeah I, I know how rixy feels the fucking leech special attack was the worst yeah, thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously i, I didn't i didn't play much back then so i never actually experienced <laughs> that shit bro, bro, if, <laughs> if somebody started leeching your shit you would just be like literally fuck off i'm leaving oh do you lose like <laughs> it's like a rag it, yeah. was, it was just yeah. ragging oh, basically right. yeah yeah and I i'm, 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 I'm like there. drawing a comparison but obviously they're totally yeah you're different. not ragging with oh, yeah, yeah, you're just yeah. gaining dps like the the basically. biggest the biggest thing for me is like everything i can see here has a purpose everything looks good but then i get here and it's just like it's a little bit foggy for me yeah but, no man i feel like i didn't the vows, idea. it's not meant to be too strong i feel like the vows already stack up to things that are already so strong in the prayer book you know that's literally what it feels like it's so like like just shoving this so hard at your face now you know like i already know it's good i don't need more it's almost you know? unnecessary like, I, I, really I think don't. that's the word for it like unnecessary i feel like yeah they're it's just unne to, so unnecessary i feel like they're just trying to yeah. fill the book up like when no, I because these. like we're, we're just getting into the problem you know where we're just adding too much dps too fast right like it's it's that's what it feels like if you add the vows in 100 percent. so many new ways to get extra dps on top of these major prayers that is already going to give you flat out guaranteed dps you know yeah it's like why do you even need this you know like it's not not necessary so, yeah, I can, so, I can so the mission, from that. To, like yeah. to ask you what, what is it because then we're just really going to complain that like oh things are too powerful now yada yada too fast you know I mean, it like, already I mean, is we, right it already yeah i, I feel like, like we, we book, it already careful. is very like a very big power creep yeah, so I just low. think we have to be more careful, man. Because old school RuneScape, you know, not just power creep the game twenty four seven scape, you know. Just be yeah. careful. What is it about the vowels that you like so much? I li I like that you have to choose between them in certain circumstances. I I, I like having to make those choices. That's a nothing answer. Like... That's the same as any other prayer. No, it's, no, it's not. <laughs> what you no, literally you can turn. You got to choose between what? them. It's like yeah, I'm gonna protect Melee. It's it's like the same as saying that. Like it's a bit more niche, but yeah, that's, I think that's what that's so saying. like no, but no, but ge but generally you hit with Mage, you use the Mage offensive prayer. You getting hit with Mage, you use the Mage protection prayer. But in this, like you're you're making like say if you're doing chambers or something. Like you can choose if you're down food to use the one that heals you a bit, or you could choose the one to get extra mage damage, or you could choose the mage defense draining one. There's a there's a choice you're making there. Yeah, is or, that, or I'm, you just I'm, don't use me, any of them if you're low prayer. That type of idea. Yeah, for, for, for me, the decision making is what makes the game interesting. Yeah, rather than just what's like, worth just, it and what's not worth it. Yeah, you know? and that's that's why I quite like them. And I also I also like I think we should like I disagree with you that just filling up the prayer point book is useless because otherwise we just have three protection prayers three offensive prayers <laughs> and like a couple of utility prayers and what we've got 12 <laughs> like yeah. but, but i quite like i, my, my I quite point... like having a fuller prayer point book that people can use and it doesn't matter if they seem kind of useless now people will always find a way to use these things in the future yeah. that, that's i um, guess that's like my point there and my concern is i'm different in that sense because i don't feel like they should just fill it up for the sake of it I'd rather it had prayers in there that were actually are, though. usable. Um, but but again, it all goes down to 
we're not really going to know with these until we test them out, right? So, like, yeah. I might be mm. completely wrong. Like, these things might be awesome, or they might fucking suck. But we won't know until we try them. But I would disagree. I think that there should be stuff in there that people can use. I don't see the point in just filling... Like, I would rather... They, they can use them, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, right, right. But like, you're... Why, don't you, why okay. don't you want to hit 85 of your shadow all of a sudden? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I would <laughs> rather they went back to the drawing board and they changed this. Like, I'm not saying not to add it at all. Oh, I'm just yeah, saying, like, I, I know, what, I know what you mean. That, that's what you, I'm do you get what he means, George? He means he wants better prayers than this. That is, you don't want them as no, he, stronger, right? Surely not. He just wants more interesting no. options. I want yeah, I guess. stronger yeah. prayers, which is, which is fair enough. Hurt you. Like maybe you bleed when using but, it, or maybe instead of like more damage taking, the max hit on you is like raised by ten percent, so you get like one hit. Right? Yeah. I'd love some I, I, super dangerous vows. Yeah, I, I think the vows. We we we're kind of like arguing over the relevant part of the prayer, but really, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like a small yeah. Yeah. extra bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about all these fucking big numbers and about like percentage. It, uh, again, like, hey, listen, I'll say this: I would be in favor for them for this to pass right now, so we can see what it's like. You know, I, I think mm. this is the probably the most interesting stuff because it's so hard to interpret. Um, but that also makes it to me like the thing that I don't want because it's like yeah. it's hard to interpret, right? And it's, it's like yeah. it would be nicer to have something that's cut and clear, like the other ones. That's kind of my Yo, point. Here. Honestly, personally, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even saying I, I, not to add I it. I just, I would like I it to I be. I don't understand how it's hard to interpret it, though. It's yeah. like, yeah. There's, there's bro, shitty, man. shitty soul split, right? We... Extra rage damage, defense yeah. reduction, and then okay, the last one's hard to interpret. Okay, okay, you hit hard. You hit hard. They just, they just feel like a little bit like not really fleshed out. Like I don't know. There's just something about them yeah, that doesn't. They, they feel... just brought it out. They, it's not been. Uh, I, think, I think, I think you've been yeah. blindsided by the bottom one, and you've got. Like, <laughs> you're you're really you've been I love the bottom yeah, one. I'm traumatized think... by the bottom one. It's Dude, like, what the fuck? The, the bottom <laughs> one is the one that I like the most. I just, I just don't see people. Dude, this one's sick. What do you mean? It's like a brand new. No, no, no. You don't understand. I'm just laughing. You highlighting the entire paragraph. Like this this whole thing is amazing. <laughs> my my point I'm is for right. Everything but vows. I'm for everything but vows. I I'll, I'll vote yes to pretty much everything because honestly, Sorry. they all I... sound perfect except vows. Get rid of that but... shit. And then you have an amazing curse that I approve. You know, not that my so, opinion so like matters, an, another thing shit. to consider here is I know that Reese likes Glacy's vows because you're saying that yeah. Mage is weak in in PvP, right? But on the other end yeah. of it, it's like Mage in PvM is incredibly strong. So it's like, okay, it might be good for one thing, but then is it necessarily good for the other half? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'll, if it's if it's too strong in PVM, I wouldn't want it yeah, to it's affect pretty, the game yeah, as much because it doesn't, it's it doesn't actually mean it doesn't mean too too much in PVP. That's incredibly cracked for PVP too. Like, yeah. just yeah. imagine the chance you. But, but the thing is, I think it, it balances it out more in PVP. You hit like a ninety with a volatile, right? Like yeah. it's. And that's an but then you got to avoid wake. It. The thing is, you got to balance things like relatively, that relatively. So like, you think you think, you think about avoid wake. It. You compare it's that to true. avoid wake. Uh, to a volatile, sorry. And the difference oh. is mental, like DPS wise, average hit, etc. Yeah, the warrior waker is way stronger. What you absolutely. have to risk as well, like yeah, you have it's to talk about. You have to think about all the other items that are in the game when you think about mage and mage is yeah. pretty weak. I mean, okay, look, if they make that shit PvP only, sure, bring that shit out. Yeah. But, but that, that also an old, old, old ballpark, by the way, of You're making not. things different for PvP and um, <laughs> PvM, and I don't think that should be the case. Yeah, exactly. I just don't think Val's going to be there, look, bro. Look at this thing that they just did with... Uh, yeah. Well, PvPers are really sad about is... Well, not sad, but oh, they, yeah. do you know the uh -huh. orb? Uh -huh. You can now use the spec in the wilderness, and I they... there's a lot of PvPers like, weren't... "This is the end of PvP." Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> so you can one tick with anything, then, pretty much. No, there's still a delay. For example, if like uh, agent staff, there'll still be a delay that you can't spec <laughs> with. But it, it, the, the don't talk need about it. filtering your prayers as well that you did with the spell book, and you can now do it in the wilderness. Mm. I think it. It shortens the the skill gap for a lot of PvPers don't like it, especially the high tier ones, because they like how everything is right now. They're good at what they're doing now, but they don't want change. A lot of them. So I think well, this will help new Morgan players. I, th I, I think the the spec does the spec or or really change that much. It makes yeah. it makes it easier. You don't you don't have to use an F key for your spec, I guess. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it makes it easier because of. The like a lot of things are distance wise. For example, the right. bottom of your invent is 
to like the player is a lot more than the top of reinvent. That's why people used to top switch back in the day. You know what I mean? Back in the day. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> it's very minimal though. Like it's yeah. If if I get another fucking I don't know arbitrary number hundred players well, hundred like, players being think about it. and having this, I'll be happy. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, honestly, because, like, okay, so there's a lot of mixed complaints, right? But, like, I think the main one is, like, oh, PvP is dying. Well, I mean, yeah, of course it's dying if you're not going to make PvP more, like, you know, um, easier to get into. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so it's like, well, you can't you can't have it both ways, I, mate, I, I, you know? Right? Yeah. So. You, you are right. It makes it makes PvP easier to get into, but then so, I get yeah, where the people like are, are coming from with, like, but then that makes it easier for people to be really good. You know what I mean? Can I, can I give I you like, an example? I, I, I like this record. Dude, I think it's good. Uh, can I give you an example? Yeah. What about the prayer like... book? Oh. Sorry, Rixie, go on. We can talk about the prayer reordering in a sec. Rixie, go. Uh, I was, yeah, I was yeah, just going to say, so what we were talking about a minute ago, right, with the vowels, the, the thing that I kind of like about this one, the poison one, it is that it's using a completely <laughs> different... Torf, <laughs> I shut the fuck up over there, bro. I like it because it's using a completely different aspect of the game in order to, like, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's like utilizing something that hasn't been utilized. So it's like, I would have much more of, like, a positive reaction to these vows, I feel, and I, I don't know if you guys would agree with this, if it were stuff that were similar to that, so we're talking about different kinds of damage, like if there was one that was like a bleed damage, for example, it's like something which is like different. Like that's all it is. Mm. It's like these just, I, I, I don't, I just don't like the way that it's presented, I guess. And I feel like it could yeah. have been done. Well, the thing is, the ones that aren't way. fleshed out is the bottom one. The, the other yeah. three are pretty simple and pretty like face value. The bottom one is the one that's like the, hey, the look, one that man. you probably wouldn't like. All I'm saying is, new uh, I, 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 yeah. I see where Rates is coming from for sure. It's like yeah. it's just a, 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 a completely innovative. New, a new it's thing. new. Yeah. yeah. It well, spicy. I'm gonna get a new PBSR when that comes out. If if they figure that <laughs> shit yeah. out, some competition out there. Or I yeah. guess you're not going for high scores, but yeah, I just want PB. Easy. It'll be the easiest PB ever with that. I'll, I'll hit a higher barrage, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Again, I, I think I think you're people should vote yes anyways, for this. So. I think that they should vote yes, and I think we should check it out. We should see because yeah. it it might be good. Okay, okay yeah. Be. I just don't want it to be out in the official game. That's all. Bring it out to the test, sure. I mean, yeah, like to be. I, I don't think you, that that prayer will pass anyway. Like it's way too yeah. confusing. The bottom yeah, one. No, just don't, man. I think that'd be a resounding no for yeah, a lot. Of I, I think it, if they don't give examples of how, how to use these, then I think you're right. I think people are just going to be like, "Yeah, what am I going to do with that?" Uh, mm. People vote yes to everything pretty much in this game. That's what yeah. you're oh, like, really? bro. I know that you want <laughs> all of this to come into the game for selfish reasons. Well, I, I know. That's a good question. If, if I have my way, if you, I have my have way, all of it I would I I'd have all of it, but I would make the protection prayers like Worse? The, 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 the harshest versions of them that you could have. So like about 80%. Or or very very high parade rain to balance it as well because okay. I feel like just having this like massive upgrade it just I don't see enough restrictions in this blog to like mean that the normal I don't yeah, know yeah that's why I'm saying foul you know shouldn't I mean? be a thing because like it's already so good <laughs> right it's already so yeah. cracked yeah it's already so cracked so wait, um, just just, bit, just, it, just wait okay you go so you want to make the overhead prayers weaker. As in, like, you take more damage I, for using Well, as in, I quite, I quite like the ones that hit, like, through your prayer a bit. Yeah, yeah. And I like uh, that. You, you, don't, you don't necessarily get to deflect damage back, because I think deflect is just an yeah, upgrade. Yeah, I think it's just protect. two wins. I think it's a straight win. No, yeah, no I, think, I, I think deflect is an upgrade. So I, pref I preferred it when they had dampen and absorb just in together. Yeah. So yeah, you, could cool. make you can make what choices and you have to was just them top two, right? And then... Yeah, at, but, but those 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 two at the same time. So you have two choices of protection prayers that yeah. you can use in your blood. So they've, okay. so they've added with stand in the deflect one right after. In but this but now, but now, so what we're voting on is do you want dampen and absorb or mm. as to explore another option? And then if it's explore the other option, would you rather withstand or deflect? So oh, if we get if we get deflect, we just get deflect. And if we get withstand, we just get withstand. So this is my or idea. Or we get dampen and absorb. If they do dampen or sorb, which I don't mind, then you can add the the uh, the the vows. I think that would be balanced. That's that's if, what I would vote. That's what yeah. I would vote for. If, yeah. yeah. But if they did deflect, 
then please don't bring out the valve, like the the valves, because you're you're yeah, this, like there's barely man. any trade off. There's barely any trade off. Mm. I would point. personally vote so. for dumping and absorb. Yeah, I think. I think I think as a ba like in terms of longevity and like you know thinking about the the health of this game, I think dampen and absorb together minus valves and everything else being there, I think it would be perfect. You know. Yeah, I also I really I like the prayer points uh, draining. That's just pretty new, and especially mm. the fact that you want to have 100 percent prayers in PvP in PvM. Sorry, 40 percent in PvP, and then you yeah. get drain 10 percent of your prayer points. 10 percent is like actually sizable when you think about it. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's, right. it's like a, it's like a choice you make if you've got a lot of prayer left. So yeah. Yeah. again, it's that thing of like, oh, which one should I use right now? But yeah, I, 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 because think about cool. it this way, right? So if you have ninety percent protection and then you know you want to use that healing vow uh, on a one take flick, then okay, you know you get some of that back. See, you get what I'm saying it's like a little bit of trail, and then you're killing things faster a bit too because you have better prayers. So maybe it balances out, right? Mm. There you go. Mm. So that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So. But I think we're going to get the flex. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. I think no, I'm not in that one. Don't vote for it. Come in the game. They will. They will. They, 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 want, they want something stronger. <laughs> like, if they vote for I, the flex, they'll vote for Vows too. And then we'll have literally the most <laughs> cracked prayer book. Like, yeah, but we, that's, let's get used to it, bro. That's happening. Uh, yeah. Man, fuck, dude. Guys, think about There's the long There's going to be five years out of the line and we're going to have like one hit darts again or something. You know? Please. Yeah. Long term help the game. Stop being selfish, guys. Good, good. Just to, sc just to scroll back to a thing that Reese touched on. Today, you can now reorder your prayer book somewhat, but not entirely customizable. I don't know if you guys remember back to the days of 2017, 2018, where yeah. you could drag your prayers wherever you wanted. When these prayer when this prayer book comes yeah, out, like a, uh, there's... Quite quiet, yeah. yeah, yeah, with Rune Light. So when these prayers come out, everyone's muscle memory is going to be destroyed, and there's going to be such a pressure to add the ability to drag your prayers wherever you want in the prayer yeah, book. Yeah, it's a snowball. Are you guys, are you guys, are you guys, are you guys, are you guys for or against that? Against, 100%. Because so, it's like, that's bad. I think that's bad. <laughs> I'm for what, it. Where you can really? put your prayers wherever you want. Yeah. Really? I think uh, they, I think they should be filtered, but you shouldn't be able to put them wherever you want. Yeah, I think Everyone filters should... okay, but snowball Yeah, I think effect. filters fine, which people don't actually like filters right now in PvP. And the thing is, they've got a very, they've got a very closed yeah. mindset and they're only thinking about now. They're not thinking about yeah. what Jags are going to do in the future with this spell book. Because they're like, well, I'm used to my prayers here. I don't want that to change. Buddy, wait until this prayer book comes out. You're going to be fucking everywhere. Like, <laughs> it's going to be mental. You yeah, want, you're going to have to have those filters back then. And, that, yeah. and that's why we should be able to move them wherever we want. Uh, <laughs> not yeah, not wherever we want. Like, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Not wherever you want. Just, <laughs> just, just filter them. Like, so everyone's the, on like, the same... That, it was so nice. I, I enjoyed playing in that era where I could move my eagle eye down to where my rigor is. Yeah, because... Okay, never mind. Because it's easier. Yeah, I can't, I can't why. It's snowball it's effect, it. dude. It's going to happen eventually. Yeah, We're just... Uh, it's, Man, it's more about this, inevitableness, how dude, to this slow whole down. prayer blog is about making the game more challenging and being sweaty, pretty much. And then you want to have your muscle memory in there as well, dude. Come on. It's like yes, learn a yes, little bit like along the way. I would rewarded for I playing this game good. for 10 years. Yes, sir. Let <laughs> me what, what I, I, I honestly, I'm so impartial. I don't care. I, yeah. If people want it, sure. If people don't want it, sure. I, 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 I think as long as, long as, long as you keep the way. icons a similar size, I'm fine with it. Yeah, 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 I, I was literally yeah. about to say that, by the way, Joel. One thing that I was actually <laughs> kind of tilting was, do you know how spell, uh, Spec Orb used to not be able to use in PvP, right? And, and then they it he was like, they're never going to add this to PvP. It's going to like affect it by a very minimal amount. People said it was a lot more than it actually is. But if they actually allow things to be bigger, like the barrages now in PvM, that's really bad for PvP. I think that's like detrimental. Um, yeah, because that, but that's the thing is, they're going. They're going to go that way. Again. They're going to go that way because of how they've gone with the spec op. They said they're never going to put it into PvP previously. They will, eventually, and yeah, they'll eventually oh, do it. Exactly. Which I, I, I don't like that. I've just had a so fucking they, sick idea for those preys, by the way. Like, <laughs> why don't the they? Again? Why don't they tie this into like the spell book? And it could be like. Uh, glaciers, glaciers is like typically like a frozen thing, right? It's like it could be like increase the barrage length for something like that of the freeze, or or maybe even slow them or whatever. It, it's like they could do like a blood one for like any blood spells where they get like a bleed. Well, that's effect. that's what they, they've they've done they've they've done that. Well, they've tried to do that yeah. already, right? So craw craw is the blood one, and that's healing. But they've done well, it in like, a weird way. Why don't they just Gla try glaciers? Is I can't remember what glaciers is. 
Yeah. And Umbra, that's, that's the, the shadow one, so it's like a, a drain, like the shadow spells. All right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. the smoke one, so they, they already have done Bro, the theming. But yeah, just, they, just, they, you just don't like it. I just don't like it, man. I just don't like it. And then you've got like, the, the Venge one the, with the fucking 15% thing as well. That ties in a little bit. Bro, if they just made right, this... I can if they, see where they've gone with it. If they tied that into like the, the mage spells, I'd probably be way more in favor. I th- I, th- yeah. I think you've got to remember they're also bringing out the staff upgrades from the bosses for that ancient scepter yeah, yeah. from Desert Treasure Two, and I that's that's gonna good. that's gonna be more along that lines of bluffing blood, yeah, mag- yeah. blood magic. Ice I really magic like blood, where they're going but, with that, by the way, like increasing it for that specific staff of ice barrage, lens bar- uh, blood barrage. Um, yeah, I mean. They- <laughs> We'll have to see because then they they need to bring up Virtus and we don't know what the Virtus is gonna do. So <laughs> Re- 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 well, imagine, uh, yeah, boys. What's even the point? is like, what's even the point? Let's see. Maybe we'll hit. What do you mean? 60s. What's the point? What's the point of anything? <laughs> well, what, what, I mean, one I mean, sec. I'm gonna check. If Virtus comes the out, if Virtus comes out and it's not as strong go. as like. It, it Central, be, that'd be uh, weird, wouldn't it? You know, I think that vibe is just a bit weird. Yeah, it feels like Torvald's like the best in Millie, well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, we're getting so we're getting curses that literally makes our magic stronger. Yeah. And then, then we're gonna get Virtus. Do you not think it'd be stronger. weird? Virtus <laughs> being like a thirty defense thing or something like that, or something that's not of that that strong. I, I think I think it should be between Aram's ancestral, personally. Yeah. Me too. I think because I think Cox is. A lot more prestigious and should have a, give a because better reward than, and yeah. than a, a Vorkath style quest. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yep. I think we just need to be. Like, I can, yeah, yeah. Between, between ancestral game. and. Um, but then the problem like, with that, the problem with that is there is really isn't a big gap in between an ancestral well, and yeah. maybe, maybe something think... like maybe something like it has damage bonus, Massive. but it's worse mage offense. Yeah. Than our, uh, Aaron, sorry. Um, I, I think like they're, probably, they're probably going to lean towards like making it give you some ancient uh, spells boost, you know, yeah. for, for the spells. I think that's probably going to be the, the saving oh, grace. Yes. Yeah. It needs to come yeah, with something pretty, unique. Cool. It definitely like, you does. know, maybe give it a little bit of magic, uh, like uh, damage, but not like ancestral, of course, and then give it like some boost <laughs> to ancients. And, you yeah, know, oh I, think my God. I agree. Ancestral should be the top. I, yeah. I'm, so, I'm yeah. so tempted to just read out one of the vow explanations and say they should do that to Virtus and then Rise and be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or just move the vows to the fucking furnace, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, yo, I think I think all I'm saying is I think the biggest takeaway from this, in terms of balancing for me, is dampen absorption. Please, no deflect, and you bring vows in, or else no vows. Okay, if you do deflect, no vows, please. I think that's like the. I think I'm gonna have to tell my viewers that. No joke. I I hate having to like tell people what to do, but but guys, please absorption, um, dampen. And you can do the devi- and you can do foul. I think it'll be right, fine. right, right, right. right. Good propaganda. I have to. This, <laughs> this is for the, I have of the game, bro. Honestly, <laughs> I have to. Oh, when I'm dude. like so like sure of something like this, I ha- like I'm I'm usually not that sure. But which, which spells do you reckon you have to buy? Just the the three. Um, I think, yeah, yeah probably. Probably. maybe like, they have a yeah, All right, maybe the vow too. You know, just because why not. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there should be a lot of spells that you should have to buy. Bro, yeah. should make I think it'll, I think it, I think it'll be four, right? I think yeah, it's gonna be four. Sure. The tribrid and the singles. Yeah. Yeah. At least four. I think it'd be these three. Yeah. Be like you have to get and then, and then, or something. Yeah. The best yeah. ones. Would you not sense. want uh, the vows to be bought as well? I would be okay. Just like, with do you know, like how Berserk is bought? Like it's cheap, yeah. cheap as fuck mm-hmm. now, right? But. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather, like a... I'd rather most, I'd rather you didn't get to the end of the quest and half the prayer book was missing because that's not. <laughs> yeah, prayer. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of that's kind of how it is with the fucking. I mean, it's. I mean, it's nowhere, it's really nowhere near like half the. I book, mean, it's though. it's three, <laughs> but you know. Like yeah. I think that I think I think the best the best uh, offensive prayer should drop from the bosses. Yeah. And yeah. Just 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 leave it at that, and th- and I also think there should be above ninety prayer levels to use those ones. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a decent, if it's a decent prayer level, then it's yeah, maybe I ninety. You know, like ninety. Well, yeah. Ninety two. I, wanna, I hope you think, think about the prayer level. Ninety nine. Ninety two. There well, you go. I hope, I hope you think about the prayer level for certain accounts with um the lower ones, the lower tier ones. You know, like mm. yeah. If you want to have like a zerker or something, I don't want to, people to have to get like seventy prayer just to use that spell book. You know what I mean? You, like you probably, will, you probably, you probably you will though, mm-hmm. because otherwise. Well, so you see, but that's that's 
Well, so you would rather everyone can just keep their 52 prayer on Azurka, for example? No, not 52, but increase it, by, but not, like, detrimentally. 60? To, to where, though? To, like, like, to where? 60, where, where 65. Does okay, yeah. To mm. around that. Where's the line? Yeah. Dude, I, I, it, yeah. there is... I don't know if it should yeah. be in the 90s. I think maybe up to 90, possibly up to 90, just because, like... Yeah, but what's, 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 the, what's the point of 90 to 99 prayer levels, though? We may well, as well fill it up. Yeah, do 92, man. Like do, they... do 92. Oh, Joel, you got to think like about the far future, expansion. five years from now, 99 prayer. You know, it literally <laughs> one-hits any boss when you 99 prayer. Well, when, when you think about it, on the normal prayer book, the highest level uh, prayer is Augury at 77, right? So I feel like mm -hmm. getting up there to 90 is, like, pretty reasonable I, I guess i'm just kind of thinking in terms of like more things that can be placed in i mean there. turmoil was like 95 so yeah it was yeah yeah and this is yeah. as good as turmoil times three yeah because <laughs> we've got three styles i don't know i, yeah, I think 90 is appropriate yeah. i think 90 yeah 90 is a fair yeah do you, do you agree what i mean by people not want to ruin their account builds with a lower tier prayers but it wouldn't be That's ruined well, if it makes it more va viable it would make it a whole new account well, that's what I'm saying. There's gonna oh, be yeah. a lot yeah. of yeah. I mean, make a stronger like, account, but it won't be that that much of a difference. Strength, Ninety prayer. Because you know I mean? basically, what I'm trying to trying to say is that people just won't get the prayer level. They won't do the quest on certain accounts. That's okay. They, they, they will. They will. Like on, on like all, like it, it depends what what defense level requirements are on the top ones. But if there's no defense requirements, everyone's. All the pures are going to get 90 prayer. Yeah, like, going to just... be flying if there's yeah, no probably. defense requirement. Then you might as well just not be a fucking pure at that point. The brackets just move up. Like every, every, Everyone kind of moves up and there's there's yeah. more diversity in it all. I don't know. It means that you'll get dumpstered by Zerkas or by meds even yeah, more. Yeah, but no, because, because those Zerkas will move up to the next bracket because they'll also be getting the new press. Yeah, everybody's going to go up. And it's going to create more brackets at the bottom as well. So there's going to yeah, be like I don't, more I don't, room. I, I, honestly, I don't mm. think it's that much of a concern. Like pre-OC of Turmoil, like that's essentially what happened. I feel like those are niche builds anyways. Happened. Right? I feel like those are more niche yeah, builds I, anyways. Yeah. I think it'd I, be... I don't think that many people was, would go for it, but maybe I'm wrong. So, so, so like, like, let's, nah, let, they, let's they take will. a look at What's well, from 15% 15, 15 to 30%? No. That's worth getting five combat what, levels. What do you mean 30%? Oh, I don't mean the end build. I don't mean the end ones. Surely you need. Do you not need right. a defense requirement for the end ones? I don't. Well, think I don't know. Do we? Like, right. like that's not mentioned anywhere. Let's take a look at this rule. Wait, right. if there's no defense requirement, then I need to change my fucking mindset. <laughs> I, I think well, like, you're gonna have to. Requirement. Bro, this is gonna I change everything. The meta is gonna change on. This. Everybody's gonna change. Yeah, I was just thinking about the. I was thinking about the ancient will and all these smaller prayers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, I thought it was just a given as me a prayer. Right. Yeah, me oh a yeah, I, I agree. I agree with ancient will and all that. They should be in like the sixties, seventies. Yeah, because like I don't mean I don't mean the, the end ones. Ones end ones definitely shouldn't be like. <sighs> I think I thought we, just they need to. I think they need to elaborate on the defense requirement. <laughs> there is. Yeah. There shouldn't bit, be yeah. any. I, I don't think there should be any. To be honest. Hmm. Because I feel well, like I they need, there, needs to be a, here. there needs to be a difference, though, between the regular prayer book and then this prayer book. And one of those, like, key differences could be, like, okay, well, you can basically be a glass cannon on this prayer book. Uh, but there's downsides to that. I think that makes well, it... Well, I yeah, mean... You can be, but... be a Zerker at a fucking med levels combat level for that extra thing. And then it's, like... I mean, that's actually yeah. kind of interesting, to be fair. Yeah, would, well, I mean, change. you I can be one I defense and have prayer, no yeah. drawbacks because you have one defense. Yeah. We, what we so. really need to know is we need to know roughly <laughs> yeah, the true, ballpark yeah. of where these prayers are going to sit. I'm really surprised uh, they didn't put like a bracket with like this will be between 50 and 60. They should have done that. Or, or this will have like a defense requirement or whatever. Yeah, 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 exactly. They need to specify that in the, in the you know, yeah. They, we, you want to bring that up. Like, <laughs> what you, what you want to vote on? You, you, you want to know like, the, you yeah. want to know the basis around it, right? You want to, yeah, yeah, 100%. You want to think, you well, this, this account. This level, you know what I mean? Yeah, what kind of so, so if if you could choose, would you have the thirty? Would you have the thirty percent on pures or not? Probably yeah. not pures, yeah. but I, I'd say probably like because first because first like, defense. <laughs> because they'd be so glass every, cannon that it'd be fucking every other account would destroy them. But then it'd be a cool account to have. You know what I mean? You like, it won't be a strong account. A pure level. be ni ninety prayer. But you know, it it be be it's, it's the same as dude, levels, it, it's like the and same like as like stack, those those ninety nine just... attack pures. You know the ones with ninety nine attack and strength, and they just yeah, they're fuck terrible. Themselves. <laughs> yeah, because they get destroyed by tanks. <laughs> like, the reason why they they have them accounts by these clan wars, they're like ninety nine strength, ninety nine attack, because that was it was all like clan wars ten v ten fights with pures and all well, that type of stuff. So, so it was never viable think... in the world. 
You have to think about it though, right? Prayer, it's every eight levels for a combat. So if you keep your attack low and all that stuff and have that crazy thirty percent prayer, it might not be that high of a combat. Yeah, it'd, it'd be it'd be cool. I, I think you'll it. still yeah, get low. bashed by med levels. I think to do the but twenty fine, to thirty percent like basically the bottom three ones here. So decimate, annihilate, and vaporize. I think personally I'd like it if there was a slight defense requirement in order to use them but not like a stupidly high one like may maybe like 30 to 40 defense or something that wow that would to. put them pretty high level though right it's the fence gives a well, lot yeah. of combat it does yeah it, it, prayer it, doesn't though i that's mean only I, I initially thought it would be 70 defense at these last three if it's not that's actually kind of interesting it means different builds uh builds will be like quite cool yeah. mm. i'm not yeah. i'm not opposed to that it's just down to them person and mm. if they do get in a fight with anyone with defense, I think they'll get smashed. I just, I feel like, right, so when you look at, like, combat accounts, right, like, brackets, like, I see it as this. There's not really that much of a massive incentive to get anything over one defense if you're in the pure range, right? So, like, having a uh, Zerker, like, a 45 defense pure, is, it like, a very niche thing. It's like, it's not very popular. There are people that do it and love it. And I, I personally am a fan of it myself. Yeah. But it's kind of like... defense accounts are terrible. It would be really yeah. nice if there was something to kind of like make them stand out a bit more than yeah. what, what the current situation from. is. That's where I'm coming from. Because, hey, this is my bias. I really want to make a Zerker. And it would be sick if I could use those prayers and the purest can't. Just, that's my personal opinion. Yeah. But like, you know, yeah, so... it is what it is. From a... From... PK standpoint, it does make sense for these people to use these type of strong prayers because what happened when Augury and Riga came out, Zerkers was reasonable, but now if you fight, <laughs> yeah, you fight a level hundred med with Augury and Riga, you get destroyed. They just use distance and range and major. But now, if you can actually get these prayers on a on a Zerker or pure, it kind of builds the battle up to be more more reasonable at that point. Mm. Right out, yeah. out, please. I, I like I like yeah. them on low defense. Whether that's thirty yeah. or one defense, I don't really mind. Evil. Well, yeah. Might as well try it out, right? And then if it's not good, I mean, no, 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 because then people people will ruin their pure. Yeah, they'll ruin their. Yeah. <laughs> and then the I just got. I just got hey. levels. Oh, oh, it has to be. Videos. Do you know what? That, that I'll might, be reading right at that day. That might be the reason yeah. why they haven't. I, I I feel like there's an actual purpose for why they haven't put the levels here. Yeah, they're getting they're getting all the because they don't know feedback probably. right now. They probably because if they no, say they, one thing dude, and go they, back, on they definitely they definitely have a ballpark idea of where these are gonna sit. Surely not like the actual number, but like to be like, oh yeah, annihilate's gonna be fifty-two prayer. Of course not. Like they I feel know like it's a lot gonna of be. have expected the the top three to have a defense requirement. Yeah, but I, that's, that's I feel legit. like that's just because we're you, used to rigor and augury. Because yeah. augury and rigor already it's have. The, that. It's a current mindset. That's why yeah. they're not thinking about how peers can now go into monkey man is one island yeah. or anything. They don't think about yeah, that. Dude, they just think, oh, it's always like, been this way. Do, do like, you know? No, yeah, we're exactly, changing. Yeah. At it's the beginning changing. of the podcast, I was talking about turmoil pures that were thirty defense. I'm pretty sure the only reason they were 30 defense wasn't because it was 30 defense to use the prayer. It was 30 defense to unlock wrecked. the quest yeah. to get to the prayer. It's like the prayer didn't have any like defense behind it at all. It was just like you just needed to I get know, but that, the process. That, that's horrible though. So someone like me, I already had a Zerker which was 45 defense. And then because this quest came out, I wanted turmoil on it, so I had to get 47. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and your account looks like an absolute challenge. So, I, yeah. so I, that was my account. I put on POC. So it was 47 defense. Yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, brother. I don't think, I don't, yeah, I don't think there, there should be any defense requirement or, or at least defense XP that you gain from completing yeah. the quest. Well, they've already said they're which, not doing which, that which, anymore, which is like. No, yeah, they're not doing that anymore. Interesting. They said 100k right? per XP from the reward. So. I think everyone should be able to use them. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Go crazy. I'll talk the builds. Fuck it. Like, yeah, yeah, I guess it doesn't impact me or because because bear, 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 in, bear in mind, it's it's not going to be like you can use it on pures, but you're going to have to do the, these quests which have like skilling requirements and stuff. Like, yeah. not everyone's going to be using these. It's the, like it's in like, the, like in, a... that, in like sixty to eighty. I think barely anyone's going to use these really because like they're just sort of easy to build accounts. You're not going to get seventy yeah. mining for secrets. Sounds like a shit whatever, comparison, you know? but it's like doing a uh, song of the elves on a pure or a zerk. For the mm. Bofa. It's like such high stat requirements, but it's a, it's a decent upgrade, or I don't think it's yeah. actually that do, do you know, do you know what? On that, you know, note, you know what I mean. on that note, I will say if they do make it so there's no defense requirements at all, I won't be unhappy. That's fine. I think, mm. I, hope so. yeah, I think it's really given niche, more people so... things to aim for is a good thing. 
You know, it's like Solo Mission uploaded a video recently on his One Defense Iron Man or something, and it's I like think it's there, there's like a limitation to the amount of stuff you can do, and it's like, wouldn't that be nice if that was lifted? And there's way more yeah. to go for. Yeah, I think it's fair because it's a it's a choice, not not that you need to, it will change your account right away. You know, yeah. you just up yeah. to you. Yeah. So more videos. If you want the to prime levels, you get the prime levels. Yeah. Yep. That's it. All right, boys. Um, I think we've pretty Shall much. Yeah. You want to wrap it up, mm. brother? You you say any, you say right, anything right. about on, Golden Gnomes, bro? You're kicked from the pool right now. <laughs> you're out of here, bro. I know these, what you're up to. These guys, these guys have banned me from talking about the Golden Gnomes. Me and Reese. Well, you already are right now. Head. You're not gonna push your propaganda. Hey, Prison the Golden Gnomes. Hey, Prison the Golden Gnomes. I will allow it. I will allow it. The links in the description, boys. <laughs> I hope Solo wins, honestly. I hope uh, so. Uh, give Yo, this I, man his gnome, bro. I hope Good Reese gnome. wins, man. Yeah, well, both of it. these guys yeah, are up it. for it, so, you know. Yeah, I'd mean, be yeah. mental if I win, but... Total order. Solo yeah, Mission Reese won, too. No, I actually get it delivered oh, on time, because they live in the UK, so... Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's going to be between uh, Solo Mission and Frames. It's best content creator, right? Is that... is that Or a video maker? It's video, video, it's video maker, yeah. Video yeah, creator, yeah. Uh, I've, well, here's the thing. Propaganda. It, it's, it's a bit, yeah, it's just how much you plug it, really. Let's yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it is, yeah. It's a popularity yeah, it. contest. That's all it is. At the end of the day, I think Framed deserves one because he's made con. Dude, that kid's been luring children in the wilderness <laughs> since he was like a little kid. But before we even knew what RuneScape was, oh, Framed was God. luring kids into the wilderness and taking their items, right? You're, so you're, that... you're, you're, re you're really making a good case for him. So, yeah, you know, he, he's he, it for dude, him right he has been, he has been doing his <laughs> thing for a long time. He's been luring children. Make sure to vote for him. <laughs> he's been doing his thing for a long time. And I think he is a good content creator. I think yeah, he's fantastic. He is, he is and thing. I think for that alone, it shouldn't even be a question. You should just do it for a certain amount of time and get a fucking gnome. It's like you've been advertising on a game for ten years to how many millions of people? Here's a little oh, how many fucking, gnomes are you gonna give them? Like, here's your worthless <laughs> gnome. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> but then again, Solo Mission does have, and I hate to say it, I would say moderately entertaining yeah. videos. So, oh, yeah, I, I personally voted for John. What, yeah, sweet. Oh, look at this guy. Bro. I didn't vote for anyone because I love both Framed and. Uh, now, top me another fucking fence. Who are you choosing right now? Joel's right in front of you as well. Who are you choosing? Go on. I, I'm not, dude, I'm not going through the process of voting, but dude, the video <laughs> that fucking he uploaded the other day, Solo Mission, he uploaded a video on how to vote for him, and he skipped every <laughs> other category, and I was like, oh my god, dude. It was, just, it was just like, this is how easy it is. You just skip everybody until this one, and then click Solo Mission. And you're such a rat, it, Joel, you motherfucker. Such a rat. Uh, I love it. I love it. Now, I think right, are we, Solo Mission, are, are we all win. done, then? Yeah, I think we cover everything. Oh, win, yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Won, I think we cover everything. Mate, you've won. Uh, absorption, dampen. All right, please bounce that shit out. Yeah. I think the overall, only... are you guys are you guys happy with the prayer book? Overall, would you sure. would you want yes. this in the game or block it from the game? Yeah, want it. Yeah, uh, it's cool. I think it's good. I Everyone think it's good. It. Just uh, they've been you know, they've been doing the... pretty well. Uh, with Fix, make sure the protection curve is correct, and I think everything will be fine. Hey, no, actually, yeah. actually, I will say. I'm not just going to say, yeah, I want it in the game, sorry. I thought you were asking about the beta. I want it in the beta. In general. I'm not saying I want yeah. it in the game, but I want to try it in the beta. And please, Jagex, fucking please open Last Man Standing. Just let people have some fun with this, because ultimately that's going to be the best way to test this for PvP. Otherwise, you're asking people to gear up off your shitty table mechanic, and then they're going to have to go and How find about... somebody in the wildy to fight. Just do LMS. It's right there. How about the, the Easy. get a 1k demo tournament and you smack it in there? Everyone's going to be contested. Like, <laughs> Let's go. Come on. That'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. Evil they got right. money. Throw it. Fuck it. All right, boys. It's going to get lost, but you know. Guys, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thank you very yeah, much for your time. Much. It's been it's been a free hour podcast, yeah, so we'll let you go. But yes. um, guys, check them out down below. We know you're not going to hit a thousand likes, Wait. so we'll be keeping our ten bill combined or whatever it was. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, I wasn't recording. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, get the can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? That's my worst uh, fear because it's uh, already uh, happened. Oh, what, yeah. dude, we just had like a really nice conversation for three hours, and it wasn't even for content. Yeah. Damn. Damn. No way. Damn. Mm-hmm.